dispense the ticket. We're on episode 21. Before I dispense it, I'm going to ask. Yes. Okay. I wonder if... I'm wondering what this, what the Twitch um, ticker is going to sit, the Twitch title is now. wonder what it is this week. They're doing random stuff in Nice City. <laughs> Moto Blade demands cars, blood and fast cars. Fat Pompadour. I have a fat sumo Pompadour. Looking, a sumo Pompadour guy with a Pompadour that was like a good meter, meter long at, at minimum. Oh, uh, yeah. If his Pompadour was, was two meters long, would that take up, would that mean that he could take up another square? No, it would just shoot over. <laughs> I'm just asking if there's enough if there's enough pompadour that'll eventually take up another square. Take your dispense. I won't be happy until Pompadour's a hit location. <laughs> Called shot Pompadour. I get what would that re reduce your cool? I think it'd just be a reflavored called shot head. Like they keep their brain. I don't, no, I think I think um, a bullet passing through your hair is slightly less damaging than passing through your. Face. Well, well, d didn't you know that like people who have pompadours, their head is really like that long, and it's not a pompadour; it's just hair on a shaft. Uh, the the cone head approach to pompadours. Yes. <laughs> I may not be old enough to know what cone head means, but you clear the oh oh I, oh yeah. Beep, borp, we are the Coneheads. Well, no, I, I know what they are because my family's big into Coneheads, but, like... Don't also, worry. wasn't there a Conehead it's... gang? I didn't watch it either. I, I'm fairly certain there was a Conehead gang in, um... I, I think they were one of the... I, I, they're, I think they were, like, directly uh, off of that joke. Yeah, like a, like a, a direct Conehead uh, poser gang. Good. I made a joke that's already been made in the past. There's my MO. You're like the rocker boy of comedy. Oh yeah, no, I just I just steal other people's jokes. Brand them as my own. On on that note, let's sub let's subject you to some cyberpunk goodness. Mm-hmm. Hold on, my my mu my music's not damp enough. Alright. Welcome to Salvador's Red Agency, episode 21. San Salvador for soon to be. Yeah, mo mostly where we try to kill Salvador, not not work for him. Yeah, that, yeah. that changed pretty quickly, actually. Um, like episode three, we were we were on the verge of killing them. Yeah, that was not a long partnership. Who who would have thought? Who would have thought you. a partnership with a mob would have ended in tragedy? 
Are you suggesting you can't trust people from the mob? I, d I don't think that sounds accurate at all. I didn't say nothing. No, see, see those those nice men ha helping that guy in the in the boat with those heavy shoes on. He would have fell. Like he he needed that help down into the boat. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, I still question that man's, um, that man's, uh, fashion sense dipping his shoes in concrete. But, I mean, Some kind it of looks good style, on him. You never know. He, he took the Flint Lockwood approach. Uh, in any case, um, who would like to tell the regaling tale of, of where we left off last week? Let's see. Uh, where we left off was that we got a, we tied up the um, selling the car from from uh, or uh, just turning in the car from the car show that we stole, and then we had our um, that tricked out car that we we were trying to sell at the car show originally was impounded, so we made a show of force to reclaim our vehicle. And by that, we just had a bunch of corporate corporate types kind of breathing down the neck on some poor receptionist. Yeah, they were they were ready to assault a precinct, but they ended up just like harassing the the, <laughs> the evening clerk because it wasn't that kind of NCPD station. <laughs> um. Wait, wait, and uh, and um. Who's that? And Helvy stole a bunch of plaques. Oh yeah, and, and he yeah. Helvy stole a bunch of like valuables from some detective. Who was dumb enough to let his leave his door open? I mean his window open Where actually. Window? Yeah. On a low floor in the city. I mean there there was there there, there was some pigeon pigeon wire, like it took a little effort. There's still pigeon wire in a city where birds are banned? It's it's ornamental. They, it's 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 like gothic architecture these days. Like no one knows why they do it. They just do. Sounds like a pretty crappy, crappy uh, there, aesthetic. In, on the streets of Santa Cruz, there's still um, the divots from where you used to hit your horses. Yep. Yeah. It's that way in New Orleans as well. Yep. In fact, I think they still have the post in New Orleans. I, I can see it. In either case, we we let let's start out with um, just kind of a week of downtime as you fall into your daily routines in Night City. Um, Surgeon Minds and Wei Chen, you experience what can be. Uh, thought of as full full slam like both of your offices are are completely full of work um pr and oasis for different reasons um oh. for for wei chen it's mostly kind of the recent stuff that's been happening to and around militech um a lot they're they're gloating because of their their recent like takeover of oil property that, that that used to be held up by um sov oil they've they've since like begun construction of a new unit there um so there's pr with uh lobbying groups and such and that going on mm -hmm. and um there's also the question of does militech run a secret police force that's that's attacking sites in the city we don't know. There are people that make it sound like it is. You've been cleaning up uh, data pool articles all day. You're gonna need a confirm or deny it, uh, this statement. Uh, most times, a simple uh, takedown notice is enough. But um, every now and then, you have to kind of forward something to the next the next guys over. You know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
No, I'm curious what what kind of sites they're hitting. Um, Wei Chen's department. No, just the the stuff he's covering the the secret police. The non-existent oh. secret police are hitting. No, no, oh. we are the secret police. We I mean, Miltech said the they don't police. exist. Yeah, no. <laughs> there, there is no secret police. You should be careful with our continuing words. I will be quiet now. Meanwhile, the Oasis program, uh, something that Mr. Mines keeps finding on his desks are more and more breach reports of folks collecting rainwater uh, for ma doing small grows in the city and even even like organizing like uh, food banks and this is all stuff that's kind of forwarded to you and other operatives and agents as well yeah I'm gonna um, organize them in a, in a stack putting uh, grows on the top, then ran water, and leaving the food banks for as long as possible, like, so we get the other stuff first, to give some people some time to get to them. Alright. Everyone throw me in one of them hustle checks. Except for me. Except for Surge, who has other uses for his time. Ooh woo. I miss money. 300 eddies. Oh wait, this ring six. Oh no, this is still in the same bracket. Oh wait, it's 500, not, not 300. All right. Yeah, you're you're in the middle bracket now, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. Always get that um, mixed up. I'm trying to find the book. I don't know where to oh. with it. I uh, pulled off. I'm pulling up a loot sheet. Success. I pulled what? off major project success and gained a bonus. What's, so, what's, what's your role, Helvy? Uh, five. Five. And what's your, what, what's your uh, ability? Oh, five. 300. 300. Yeah, 300 eddies. Okay, so everyone everyone made up pretty good this week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be losing eddies this week. Why is that? I'm going to be upgrading my personal neural link. Okay. I'm upgrading it so it has less humanity cost. Okay. So it's down to one d6 instead of two d6. Give me, give me a roll for that there tinkering there. Sabotech. Pretty sure I you can't... got it. It's actually a pretty low roll on my end. Yeah, pretty low roll, but um, for what you were doing, that's on the nose. You are you are able to refine this device so that it has less of a uh, sap on your humanity itself. Of... Yeah, do some things like change up. I, I talked to Gavin to get some get some good parts to swap out things. Yeah. Like clean off clean off corporate blo uh, bloatware and uh, and um, things like non non uh, communication kind of wear like uh, you have to keep that's very common in cyberware the leading cause of cyber psychosis is buying is buying multi-brand uh, cyberware without doing that yeah that it, it, it's funny how in universe no one knows what causes psychosis cyber psychosis when there's like a leading field that knows vaguely what causes cyber psychosis that's kind of always been interesting and, to me about cyberpunk's lore yeah one of the things one of the things is that uh you can definitely overhear this a lot in 2077 is that um they've discovered uh software on cyberware that basically if you don't clean it out and parts will just not talk to each other and cause all sorts of havoc in your brain yeah 
Meanwhile, what was, what was Helvy up to? Brought down a major system with ransomware and got paid off to uninstall it. What what kind? What do you think you hit, Helvy? Like this is something. This is a little passion of yours this week. What what did you hit? Okay. Helvy. I I I think. The NCPD is on my mind, so maybe the in, in, NCPD pension fund. You you held cop punch pensions at ransom. <laughs> well, I those plaques are just staring at me, so I, they speak sweet nothings into your ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, down at 32 humanity, I don't think we have a lot of foresight into what we should and should not do. Yeah, that, that, that's true. That's that's pretty pretty within 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 taste for some 32. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me pull up the Excel sheet so I can make sure I mark the upgrades. Yeah, yeah I I'd like to think that I got most of those on the on my desk done this week so i got my bonus yeah you got a bonus because you you organized those jobs so effectively that it just all got handled a little before the the week ended and uh your managers were pretty uh pretty happy with that yeah especially the food pigs they died pretty quick <laughs> yeah they don't last long not on my watch they um, last just long enough to get a few people is it possible to look around for when a uh either when a like a weapons kind of night market is happening or look around for a specific weapon um uh i mean uh, just um, that's that's something in... you'd have to hit a fixer up for oh yeah okay, those... i'd like to look into that eventually one thing I can do now that the uh, Sabo thing is now kind of under the rug mm -hmm. and out of the news, I can sell off those uh, stall boy revolvers and the um, machine guns. Yeah, and the machine guns to a fixer. Did I get one of those? That's a question I have. Uh, yes, I marked it down. To, I'm down to six instead of seven. Okay. Because um, we also have the. Uh, the assault rifles and we got let's see and those are heavy or very heavy those are VHPs okay uh, looks like I got just that many uh, assault rifles Actually, no, no, wait, wait, I misread that. Because, I, yeah, I remember you guys grabbed, like, everything you could, threw it into the plane before you took off that night. Yeah, yeah I have in my notes 800 and AKs, but I don't know if you're... But I think that was the maximum amount we got. If you've given some away, then it's cut off that price a little, I think. No, it's, no, it's that five. was 800 per person, I think. Yeah, it's 800 per person is how much uh, I'll be able to give to everybody. From that, uh, the revolvers were not counted in that mix. The revolvers are something that uh, were tacked on after the fact. Yeah, because I only have it, the 800 is in AKs, not. Yeah, AKs. It, it was in. Um, it's in um, Stav Boy, Stav Boy Black. Uh, AK rifles. So I'm gonna go to uh, Padre and sell off those the the rifles and also the revolvers. Okay, um, that's that's something he's able to facilitate pretty easily in the neighborhood. Um, I, I sell them with the ammunition included as the package deal. Okay, because um, it's as easy as you just making a call to Padre and then. 
you get the dead drop, you meet up with the Valentinos, you talk a little, you trade bags, then you just walk away, you know? Yeah, I currently... Um... Yeah. Looks uh, six. Yep. It was eight hundreds worth for split about five split among five people. So there was eight. Well, so doing that, that's four thousand in rifles. So that was. So that makes eight rifles. Okay. Because each rifle's five hundred. Mm -hmm. So, I'm basically saying I'm not getting any. I'm part of his deal is that I'm not getting any. any he gets the ammunition for free, <laughs> so he okay. can sell that off. And once you made the deal, that's uh, you get paid for it. Um, they very I, quickly report back to Padre, and he reports back to you that the money's cleared. Yeah, I'll also sell off the revolvers the same way. Um, um, how many of those did you get? I had six revolvers. Those weren't counted in the 800. And it, so that's 600 eddies worth of guns. Easy. Yeah. I'm That's also on the 920 a piece. Gun, so. uh, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna take the revolvers as um for um and set aside for upgrades. <laughs> okay, so it's just 800 a piece. Yeah, it, this is this is part of the this is I take a little bit extra because I'm I'm actually paying out of pocket for the party's upgrades. And I need that I need that money to uh, pay for Sergeant Mines. Mine's is neural link and yeah, I'm gonna give you my share of the cell. Nah, I am. I, I already mentioned enough. I took my I took my cut. I have more than enough than what I need. All right, and and you're doing something for Julia, so I can only repay you with this. Well, it, I I I flat out turned down the money. I think during the downtime of the week, um, I'm going to set up like a, a board, like a, you know, like a, in like detective drama, so they'll have like a board of information, like, well, these people are here and then little dots and lines connect together. I'm going to set up one for um, Sketchy in my in my spare, spare bedroom. What? So this is going to be in like the spare bedroom of your con app. You'd like, you'd like to set a set up like a, like a, a plotting board. Yes. Like one of those conspiracy <laughs> theory, like plotting boards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With, with, Easy. With, with all, with all, like, uh, look, the, the, the pictures yeah. I took of, like, the, the car. Because like... the like facility that your conapt is in, there's all, there's like a, a a furniture warehouse where they have all sorts of stuff like that. They have just white whiteboards. You're like, it's actually a business. <laughs> Taking business, roll away with like a, a billboard. I'd like to think Mines has one, but it's cardboard and thumbtacks for his Lay's potato chip project. Oh God! <laughs> Serge doesn't have the space for that. The garage project. Yeah, my free walls are all taken up with planks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're apparently the best. You're the best. Best at getting tickets in the year 2035. Talk about stolen valor. <laughs> well, I do. I am also looking for a very certain firearm, so I'm gonna put a put a text out to the group. Does anyone have a decent weapons fixer? I need something weird. I am also. I will reply that I am also looking for a fixer. So I, I flat out say the best fixer I got for guns is Padre from the Valentinos. I'm looking, I'm looking for a sword. Well, I'm, I'm also replying that I'm looking for a reference fixer, but high end, like oh, yeah. 
But maybe, maybe, maybe this is some kind of cool project we, that we can we, work we can out. We try and find a uh, weapons night market, I feel. Yeah. So the best fixer we can find is, I said, I know the best fixer, who the best fixer in town is, but I know, I also know that none of us have the money to afford her. Yeah, but I think we're looking for someone who specifically deals in weapons. I don't think yeah. she talked to me after what I did. Yeah, we, she we thinks need... you're a moron. We don't need a baggage of like those kind of um, multi multi job fixers. Like associated with them is like yeah, best we for should weapons. Just, we know? should just find yeah. a night market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe. I said I, I can I can get Padre a tug, just but just find a my night market, huh? I I just flat out say I can get Padre a tug, but yeah, I mean I'm looking I'm looking to get started on finding a Kindachi Mono three, which I don't think Padre is gonna be up for because that's a luxury it. item. Um, yeah, that's I mean. It's not super luxury, so he, maybe, but... He could find it, but the quest... I mean, he, he could theoretically f have it. It's just that because it's one of those super special items, it's a little harder to get than usual. Um... Yeah, that's why I'm not expecting to go to just like a night market to find it. That's why I'm looking for a fixer, because I expect it's it might be an effort to get, a hand, get so... hands on it. Once Maybe we should we get... go to a night market to find a fixer, like yeah, to find well, weapon once, fixer. Once we get more prominent, we could actually probably, in like a couple levels, we could go to a midnight market, and those will have what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you went to a midnight market that specialized in in weapons, then you would you would find exactly what you need. Yeah. Midnight markets are just night markets on steroids. Uh -huh. Well. I think we, we'd still need a fixer to get into one, though. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, you need you, to you, you need, need, to need connections. Chops. Yeah. Next, I said next week. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, weren't you going to drop Julie off at my place? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to go. How about how about we'll do that after uh, after whatever we do with these weapons here? I'll leave her there. I want to go. Are you still our kills? I want to I already... go to Sergeant's house where it's Call of Duty all the time. I said I sold off the gu I, I sold off the guns Thank already. Thank you, the so. Four twenty, blaze it. <laughs> well, I I actually also need to get to a, a night market to buy something for her, a weird gun for her. What are you buying? What are you buying the the QT gun that's in the uh, rule book? Uh, I might be buying that with a nine eleven switch. <laughs> uh, what was it? The uh... it called the cops when you pulled the trigger. Oh, oh! I thought you were talking about the gun where you press the button and then planes crash into a skyscraper. <laughs> no, no, no! It was just very unfortunately written. It's like, Chrome how do you make anything. that button work? It oh, was very pause, unfortunately pause, pause. wrote. <laughs> Chromebook Two is the uh, is the location for that. Uh, it's, yeah, it's that... I guess. When people still called it like 9/11 and not 911. Yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was. I mean, this was written back in, back in the 90s. 80s. So yeah, this was before any of that happened. So it makes sense that, that. That's not. They've changed that since then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That, yeah, they. It's different. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, no. It is actually called a, a 9/11 switch, and also. I think they still call call the car the, the Porsche, the 911 still. Porsche 911, yep. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but isn't the car still called that also? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not. The actual Porsche 911 is still called that. Yeah, it's still called the 911. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, it still sticks around, the phrase. Yeah, well, I, I kind of need a weird fixer for that. And I also am looking for a unique submachine gun. How, how weird of... A... Why do you need thing? all of these obscure, weird weapons? What what are you going to do with them? Well, I need one for Julia and one for my upcoming uh, partner. Like... Partner? 
uh, rank five and exec partner. Oh. Part part partner, bang bang. Okay. Yeah. Ezekiel too. But yeah, no. I was gonna say. Uh. Just drop her off. And so just uh, show up with her, and I can get. I already have the uh, I already have the um. The thing fixed. I just need to get to get it customized and get it working up, working uh, top of the line. Yeah, and then I'll I'll come pick her up to take her to a ripper. You can come with. Uh, well, it'll take me a week to build it. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll leave her with you for a little bit. So yeah. you you drop Julia off, and into the combat zone. <laughs> in, in into oh. the combat. Well. I mean, to be fair, you have a garage now, so he, he drives into the garage and drops her off, so she just sees a really seedy hallway. Yeah, the, the whole time on the ride, I'm telling her, okay, don't open the door, don't stand near the windows, take this, and I'll hand her the Savoy revolver. Uh, uh her search, basic search. firearm safety. <laughs> okay. And... So, so you drop her off, and Serge just escorts her in, and then, uh, Serge, you receive a message from the Padre. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, I got a, a message from Padre. Oh. He says that um, I I have little obscure work. It's not your usual forte, but um i it's been suggested that i should give it to you uh within my circle and and so we'd like to give you a crack at it yeah it's 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 a it's a message from work a little out of our a little out he says it's a little i'll say i'll ask what the work is and uh well have i left yet um well you're you're like driving down the street at this point yeah because i i i was gonna leave ezekiel there Oh god, then yeah, Ezekiel's just leaning against the door, staring at the both of you. Is he's not a smoker, is he? No. No. I, I mean I don't really smoke in in there either. <laughs> but I, I there are kids in there so Yeah, no, it's yeah. But the the guy down the hall probably smokes smokes like a chimney. Then um, Ezekiel kind of says, "What kind of work?" Uh, I'm gonna ask Padre that. Um, well, you call him up. He says, "Ah, good search. I wanted to talk to you." So, a Valentino's member uh, uh, was working at the bodega, and. They received a cake, a, a black market cake that was fatal. It, it killed them. And there's, we've been going through their agent and their belongings, and we believe it was an assassination. And we would like you to uh, look, to go to their apartment building and to find out what, what, what could have possibly happened. Alright, I said doesn't sound like too too uh, too much of a job. I'll just fly out turn to, turn to Ezekiel and say uh, a Valentino's member got, got uh, poisoned by a cake. Uh, Padre wants me to look in to see what happened. Look into his apartment and see what happened. How did they get that kind of contraband in? No idea. It was a black market cake. Is is all uh, is the intel I have. And Ezekiel immediately pulls out his agent and, and calls uh, Sergeant Mines. Goes, we got a we got a code six. We got a black market cake in the ghetto. Oh, a six. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, here I'll go with them. You stay with Julia. Lock her down. All right. I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep a uh, tabs on her and and he then just kind of text you pretty much all the information he just got and and well whatever I mean was it like a 
a call that you let everyone hear? Or was it just a call that you heard, sir? Did you just kind of relay the? the yeah, I'm group? just gonna relay it to the whole group and say, it looks like it looks like I found some work. Is what I'm going to say. Uh, Padre told me to look into an apartment. Uh, I can go with it. I can go myself or with a couple other people. I'm just gonna and... have the cab turn back around. Yeah, I have nothing to do, so I'll meet you there. Yeah, I'll, I'll also, yep. I'll also, I'll also go there with a, uh, with my um, Aussie. So it's gonna be like eight people standing outside of a single apartment. <laughs> God, staying at your house. Was, was, well, they're they're for um, hazard. Like if we got a tag or something. Here. The they're, they're not going to be involved in the SWAT the team shows up. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, we're like the edge. We're like the uh, we're like the criminals version of the SWAT team now. <laughs> I mean, we haven't failed. We, we failed like the last two episodes. Shh, shh, we haven't failed. If no one lives to tell the tale, there is no failure. First uh, try, uh, easy. <laughs> there are, there are, um, no one can, no one can witness a crime if no one is there to witness it. <laughs> we killed the goddamn Borg. Okay, we are the slut. So, um, yeah, I, I'll have the cab just pick up, Serge, and unless you're going to take the car that you have there. I don't have a car there anymore. There okay, were no yeah, witnesses. Then. No one saw us, right? Then, then we're, we're going to roll out. Um, yep. All right, then. I, I, I'm um, going to leave 800 Eddies with Ezekiel and tell him to hide it among the house. Like like strategically? Like an Easter egg hunt? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> It'll give sure. him something to do. It'll give give him something to do. So I don't. Well, I don't like that. He's asked me to do weirder things. I don't like that man having idle hands. Uh, the, the other thing is that Ezekiel will notice that several firearms have taped around the room. <laughs> like, uh, God, it's it's already a Where's Waldo, and it's like, where's where are the guns? He's just adding another layer of it, like like the next page. Like, now find the hidden cred chips. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, no, I have under my tape, I have it actually in my loot screen. Under my table, I have a gun known as Nixon's Watergate. And behind the bed, I have, um, what was it? Uh, Were those the guns you looted off the primetime guys during the first fight? Yeah. Yeah, and Reaganomics. <laughs> <laughs> That's behind the bed. <laughs> Trickle down Reaganomics. <laughs> yeah, I named I named the guns because they they did have they were held by Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan respectively, or people who or people who pretended to be Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. No, they they totally named their guns. I'm not sure if those were the original names, but but we'll never know. Uh, I mean, they, they they might have engraved them along the side. No, like if they were gonna name their 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 gun. It would be like after their dog or something. I don't know. Checkers. Get him! Get him! Checkers. <laughs> that's that's Nixon's dog. <laughs> get him! Checkers. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, the the group basically unleashes itself with at the the base of a large tenement structure in the glen um it's kind of near the the combat zone but it's like a good couple blocks away there's still what could be called a a um a police presence every like 20 or so minutes you see a, a ncpd guard kind of speed by uh, i mean we have a perfectly legitimate reason in here we're we're checking on a friend is 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 what the story is absolutely Padre. does does, does that mean us. you guys aren't brandishing all your weapons right now oh no i actually have i have my guns holstered. i have my guns holstered i'm not currently holding the gun yeah everything's concealed well excellent my famas is on my back but it's not like in my hands okay so you so so you look normal um 
as, as the the group you get out of your taxis and, and cars and you, you will show up within the span of like 20 or so minutes of uh, the building is has a large ish bodega on the side which is essentially a convenience store think think like a 7-eleven if if it was like an it's your ultimate like 7-Eleven indie liquor store smoke shop thing. It's 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 like your one-stop shop basically. I think there's one of those nearby, nearby my house. Um so that's probably where the guy died. As no, that's where he that's where he got the cake. Yeah. So, but it's he want, Padre also wants me to check out the apartment. So, so I'm willing to take the bodega if you guys go take the apartment. I don't know how the bodega will react to a to a, a Continental Brands enforcer waddling in. Well, if he wants to do that, go ahead, yeah. So, well, we can, like, we can, we what can is, go to the apartment. Hold on real quick. What does Padre want us to achieve here? Investigation. I guess he wants us to figure out what hap what happened. Where did the cake come from? Basically, he wants to be able to organize a strike back. Is it was kind of the gist of it. You're not the strike back. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out who to strike back. Yeah, we aren't the strike back yet. Now, our job is to figure out who did who done it, and that's where we get paid. So I'm, I said I can I can hit the apartment as I uh, as I flip out my uh, as I like quickly like flash some uh, lock picks. Um yeah, if one of you wants to come and keep the clerk busy, I can I can try to get the inventory list from the computers in the building. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Alright, you two can handle what I got then. I guess I'll. Yeah. Also, you can do things like check in. Also, check the video, uh, the tapes. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll go in with the apartment with um, the search to, to do something. All right, so we're splitting the party. So yes. uh, let's see. So, let's see. So Wei Chen and Gang is with me, and then okay. we have Sergeant Mines and Helvy going to the bodega. Okay, and they're they're gonna get there first. As the, the, the two of you head into the bodega and um there's there's heavy heavy smoke in in the room as uh flashing lights play within the smoke, uh industrial uns uns music starts is has been like playing like uns, 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 uns. And you can just see the current bodega person just vibing behind the counter. Uh, it, there, there isn't really anyone in here right now. However, there, there is a little like memorial kind of near the counter with, um, with like a picture of the person that's died. Do we know who this guy's name is? Uh, it says his name was Jose Brown. Yeah. I'm I'll gonna let, try I'll to leave. walk around and find a, a place where the clerk might not see me running and let I'm, him do his thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just walk right up to the thing. I'll let Helby position themselves and do their, do their, uh, path or whatever. Their scanner roll. I need first. the ID. Or yeah. no, that's something else. I need to scan. Yep, I'll let you do your scanner roll before I go into my spiel. Okay. Um, the scanner. the only uh place that you can see that would be good for net running is the the interface for the the teller machine that's basically right next to the counter they they, they seem to have seen this coming in this particular bodega all right if you just all right i Next yeah, to me. Maybe you need to 
have them look at the display of Continental brand stuff and, and tell them how the display could be better so they're not here. I can do that. That was already part of my plan. I was already going to get them away from the desk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just kind of stand there. Actually, I guess I'll go ahead and start while he's working on it. I don't... Like... I'm already wearing the goggles. Like, they're not going to know I'm net running unless something goes wrong. Yeah, you just look sketchy by default. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of stand there and let Sergeant Mines do his thing. So I'll, I'll jack him. All right. You, you walk up to the console and, and jack in and you see a a gray plane that has a little gray door that has a little gray lock on it this is a code gate um okay uh yeah then we use back door make sure the hacker man's background's on Oh, yes, oh, hacker, yeah. hacker time. Da, 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 data entry. Da, 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 da. Infiltrating systems. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know that we're quite hacker man with an eight. Uh, unfortunately, that is that is not enough to get through the door. You you fiddle with the lock, but you're not able to make it melt yet. Uh, I guess I'll try again. Um, well, that that was actually your turn. You already did your three actions. You you scanned, you jacked in, and you and oh, you... I thought that was meat space. Leave scanner as a meat space action. I think no, you're right. No, then 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 yeah, you you do have another action. I'm mistaken. Uh, then that's a twelve. Okay. Then yes, that is enough to make the lock melt in your hands. The little gray door opens. Uh, then I will move up in the architecture. You move up in the architecture, and there is a um a forest of cameras in front of you looking everywhere and there's there's a little a little imp scurrying around kind of like watering the cameras and he looks at you and he kind of points at you and he just points at you menacingly uh, yeah, that's it for me uh it's um mr mine's turn sergeant mines so yeah, I'm gonna walk up to this front desk. How far is Helvey from the front desk? About I think three meters is the Yeah, best about idea. about four four or so meters. You like very close. Mm, so I like like fake browsing things. They just seem they just seem to be like interfacing with the terminal as if they're using it. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna walk up to this guy. His name was something brown. Well, that that was the um, that's the dead person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Jose Brown. OK, yeah. It's a real shame what they what, what happened to Jose. Yeah. Yeah, man. But are you going to buy something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I have you come help me look for a uh, certain I'm looking for a certain flavor of kibble. I'm not really paid to do that. Can you just like buy some kibble? Yeah, but I I'm I need to look at the selection you guys have. Well, and... use your eyes then, God. And I need your assistance. You, I I don't assist customers not since the the act of 2040. Like I don't do that. Please hold while I check my inventory. I 
don't have any. Tools. On that note, I'm gonna grab a prop. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I don't have any drugs. This isn't. I'm not. I forgot. I'm not playing with them anymore. Um. <laughs> All right. What if I give you a little bit of compensation? You come help me. I need to speak to you, anyways. I I'm not leaving the teller desk because it's armored, so I'm not going to do that. Fine. Are you the manager? No like to speak to your manager okay more people is not what we needed we needed less people <laughs> uh, this, this is sergeant mines you got your net running yeah yeah it, it, they can't no, hear I'm not, I, that's out of yeah that's out of character that's just me as a player remarking yeah yeah i know <laughs> but a, a, anyway uh th this is enough time for for helvey to have another another turn as there's there's an imp staring at you with a watering can in the other hand. Uh, we will. Uh, use sword. Yeah. A nine. Um, if I, I don't think imps are good at this. Hold on. No, I think they have like a plus two or something. I don't know. It should be in their defense uh, rating. Ten, uh, D10 plus their defense rating, I think. Um. Oh, yeah, in fact, I forgot. We, we said oh, yes, that it is the... Three. Uh, that's actually a ten because I forgot to add the plus one attack dice. Mm -hmm. of you get to act your uh, you get to add your attack program. But yes. um, uh, yeah, they oh they rolled an eleven, so they're they're going to water a little a little like sprout that comes up and blocks your your strike. As it as it starts to like scurry back a little bit, what what do you do as your your next action? Uh, I will pull out my other sword, hoping that this works because this is my last sword. Oh no! It 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 hides behind another one of the trees, and and you cannot swipe at it in time. Uh, starting to get really pissed at this little imp, I will... Oh, I don't have Banhammer, that's on the other deck. I think Bolt is all I have. Because I, I don't think I can use Hellbolt, because it's not a Netrunner. No, it's 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 a it's a critter. It's a it's a net critter. Yeah, you, can place net, you, can place, you can place programs and they'll fight each other as a Netrunner. That is something uh, you can do. No, this this is not a black this is not a black ice. Oh, this okay. is a no. Program. It's a black ice. No black ice. No the the the. There there's there's an argument is, that the imps aren't the demons aren't black no, ice. They're black that, ice. No, that's not what I was trying to say. I, I was it, yes, they are black ice. My sword is not, and neither is Hellbolt. Black Ooh. ice uh, is what I was trying to say. Yeah. The black ice I have that's anti-program is Buddy Cop, but. Uh, if I deploy him, um, the imp gets to go before he does anything. Supply, and then run back. <laughs> I will hit it with bolt and just hope that I get impossibly lucky. Oh, and just hope that you, like, frag it in one hit. Yeah. It, it, oh, God. You, you, you zap, you zap at it, and you hit the watering can, and it, 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 it continues scurrying away. However, it is now, it's, it's turn, correct? Um, yeah, I mean, it, 
then it, it's going to um, keep watering the cameras, and then the cameras strike down at you. Beat a six and a seven. You, you get defense rolls. Okay, you beat the first one, and you beat the second one. Then, yeah, you just kind of step to the side, I guess, as, as like, the camera stalks are coming down after you. Meanwhile, Sergeant Mines, I, I don't have to do anything because you're not really a cop. Yeah, well, here. And he's going to, like... Uh, grab into like his jacket and pull out a, a pamphlet for Bodegas to join the Oasis program and set it on the desk. <laughs> I'm not going to accept your bribe. You might as well put it back in your jacket. It's not a bribe. Just read through it. It's a pamphlet. I'm really busy right now handling a customer complaint. Yeah, that's my complaint, Nimrod. I don't know what that means, but that's offensive. God, this reminds me of my younger years. California never changes. Here, and so what does this bodega stand look like? Is there like a slot I can just shove it through? Yeah, it, it, there's, there's like a... Uh, um... If, if you've ever been at like a Greyhound terminal, they have this this um, yeah. divot that you can slide things under and they're able to safely retrieve it. Yeah, I'm going to push it through. It's fine and starts like looking through the pamphlet a little bit and that that buys enough time for for Helvi to have another turn. I really want to say mean things about this imp, but I'm afraid if I did, then I might accidentally say them out loud. So I will uh, res sword and try to hit it again. Okay. Uh, kind of wishing I had a weed whacker program, I guess. All right, so um, was that two rolls? No, I only rolled once. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it... I might kill him with one hit because it's three d six. So. Ah, uh, okay. So then, then you you finally strike the imp. Which I believe does actually fret. Yep. You you uh, Im impale the imp, and it explodes into into junk code, and its watering can hits the ground with the digital thunk. I'm gonna kick the watering can because I'm mad at the imp. It it flies off into the digital distance. You are you are still among a a forest of cameras, which is a control note. Uh, I will use uh, control. Uh, that's an eight. I'm going to say that that is actually enough for this particular control node. Uh, the 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 force bends upwards and. Um, you notice that you that the cameras were actually fixated on you as the as the like attacker. Like the store, the ca the cameras in the store. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna make them all like turn around. There, there. This is the only room. There's no like other rooms to the get, Are there? Um. Well, you you see a camera of of behind the 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 counter view, which um, you can see that there's a very large like shotgun under under the bodega counter for emergencies. Um, there is a a a like a back room that's for like restocking drinks, but that that's it, it's just a cold room. Uh, 
Um... I guess I will do Pathfinder to see if there are any more uh, floors, since I was kind of hoping for stores inventory or something. Okay. Oh, wow. Then uh, that Pathfinder check is enough for you to know that there is um, two other floors. Uh, on the next floor is a... Uh, a hellhound and a uh, file and on the last floor is um, well, another file actually right. no it would it would be um, a control now um and uh, with your role that you would know that this control node is for aforementioned back rooms um uh, temperature control. Okay. I, um... I will, uh, like, lean... As a meat space action, I'll lean... I guess I can't use my movement to... Can I use... Can I say something to Sergeant Mines? Yeah, you, you're, you're able to... Li you're able to make, like, limited motions. You're not able to, like aim down the barrel of a gun and shoot, but you are able to, like, bat, bap someone on the shoulder and, and mutter a few words, yeah. Okay, I, I will... communicator and start a group call at the very beginning of every mission. Yeah, but I don't want to say anything out loud that, like, he can hear me. Um, I'll, I'll lean over to Sergeant Mines and whisper, uh, there's a shotgun below the counter. And I need another 60 seconds. So, um, does that make it my turn, or is it still yours? No, I, I can't do anything else. Alright, um, so... I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, well, as you can see on there, it, it actually uh, removes all cost of shipping for Continental brand, branded items. It also lowers the cost by a moderate amount, making the... Uh, that doesn't bulk. make any sense, because it... Who who gets charged the a large amount then? Bodegas that aren't in this program, such as this one. And you guys still maintain ownership. It is just a think of it like a. a I'm not the manager. I can't actually deal with this. And wait, wait, what? Why is the silent alarm going off? Ho hold oh. on. I think I think the ice cream melted back there. That's why I kind of, that's another reason I wanted to go show you. There was like some some like water on the floor. And so Helvi, you see her lean down and uh, look at the an array of cameras, and because they're all just kind of looking in various directions normally, she just scratches the back of her head and turns off the silent alarm. Uh, yeah, there's a close one. Yeah, but maybe we should go look at that. There's definitely water leaking, and that might be the cause of it. I'm not letting you back here, and that's it. I'm not, I'm not going back there. You need to come out here. I'm not going out there either. Jesus, you creeper. Oh, man. Well, then who's going to clean up this mess that's causing this? Someone else. That's what we have drones for. Don't make me call the health department. There are drones. I mean, it's more of a Roomba, but yeah. Oh, I'm mad. I'm kind of excited for nothing. Well, but did you think that a combat? Hello, I am here to assist with your shopping. No, no, and no, destroy not like any... small villages. No, not like any Ed, like two and nine or whatever it was from Robocop. Not, nothing like that. I just thought maybe there were like some little flying drones that like clean up drones or something that you know you could have fun with. Like some that would have been cool. Stuff. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm not above I'm not above screwing around with this bodega just to do it. So if there were flying drones, I'd totally be into that. that, that yeah, that does sound pretty entertaining. But unfortunately, yeah, it, it's. 
It's just a little like putt putt cleaner robot. It's it's so diminutive. It's not even on the network. So, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, what's playing? I'm into the 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 new Eastern pop jazz funk. You wouldn't know about it because it's really cool. Oh, I was. Uh, I, I I have a couple friends from that area. They 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 introduced it to me. I don't believe you. Look, I'm I. This has been going on for like three minutes. Can you like go away? Can I buy a pack of smokes? Fine. And she she turns around and she she kind of gestures to the giant wall of of designer synthetic smokes. Biotechnica menthol. Okay. Wait, aren't you wearing a Continental suit? Why would you be buying Biotechnica smokes? Isn't that against the code? Okay, fine. And and so, Helvi, it is now your turn. Uh, this is going to be more, more prep than anything because we're going to res armor. We're going to res buddy cop and we're going to that still leaves me with one but i hate to go up against a hellhound with only one action i guess we'll you know we'll, we'll go ahead and do it i'll move up in the architecture and oh wait yeah. um no nope i'm ready to go up when, yeah. when the girl t when the girl turns around mine's whisper is like I'm just gonna keep an eye on your neck, because all he knows about net running is one time he saw a net runner burst into flames. That's all he knows. Yeah, that cannot happen to me. He's uh, still gonna keep an eye. I can die. I just can't catch on fire. He doesn't know that. Then, then a after a couple sections, she she gets the smoke and and rings up the purchase. Goes anything else, creeper? Oh, I I did want to move up, so I think the hellhound would get. Oh yeah, the hellhound gets to chew at you as as a um a a hepcat uh, hound dog is there. It, it is a hellhound that has a beret and spits hot hot slam poetry at you. This is this is just generally worse than a, a normal hellhound. Also, I realized that the the net runner you saw get brain burned was me who did it. Yeah. <laughs> he he really doesn't understand any of that new age shit. You kids and your computers. Mm. I mean, people have been getting brain burned for like as long as Sergeant Mines has been alive. Yes, but also Sergeant Mines exclusively served in the army and was in South America for most of that time. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it happening in front of him is actually a relatively recent thing. Um, it got a 10 on its speed check. I believe this is contested. Uh, yeah, not, not very well contested. Uh, uh, mm. then, then, yeah, it spits... Hot fire, as it says, Louisiana sausage, and you you take you take six fire damage, but you you're insulated, I believe. I'm insulated, and uh, armor reduces that by four, oh. and the res on armor is seven, so it doesn't take down armor either. Okay. So I take two. Um. Well, it didn't it didn't target um it wasn't targeting that it was it targets you. No, I think if it does more than seven damage, it takes my armor down. Isn't that because that's the res on the armor? Um, no, uh, that's if something is attacking armor. Okay, I thought armor was just like automatic. Okay. No, no. Ba so defense programs basically you summon them and then they float around you as a as a presence that is attacked by programs. Um, 
where okay. attack programs you summon it, attack with it, it dissummons. And uh, okay. and and ice are creatures that you summon and they mess around on the floor or in Buddy Cop's case, it follows you. Uh, I, that's sorry, I clicked the wrong tab. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then yeah. Then, then that, uh, that's uh, two damage to get through. Not that bad. Um, and let's see here. You had one action left. Couldn't you attack back? No, no, because I didn't have it. I used two actions. To prepare and then one to come up here oh i did have one yeah, left. yeah movement's free yeah um yeah we'll hit it with a sword oh wow it's i don't think it's gonna um i don't think it can do that because uh um poor poor hound dog doesn't have good defense if it rolls a 10 it could I'm sorry, I have so many windows that I keep I keep slowing myself down. Now you you uh you cut you slice the Hepcat Hellhound. For eleven damage, you um a good portion of it breaks apart and now it's kind of a skeleton of code that the the, the that you just see hot poetry emerging from its mouth hole. I'm going to take note to aim for the Bray, because that's probably its its source. And now... Um, I'm sorry, what's the... Or What's the ordering for when Black Eyes attack you? It's, um... Uh... Top. Yeah, it's the top. It hits me at the oh, top. Oh, then, then, um... Yeah. If it, it goes it straight go... to the top, then it attacks, and then Buddy Cop attacks. Okay, that's that's the order I was trying to, no. to figure out there. No? No, I think Buddy Cop attacks first, but the it attacks before me. Well, no, if it goes to the top of the initiative, then, then it would go before Buddy Cop, wouldn't it? Because it would be the most recently resed ice. Um. Yeah. I don't remember. I just think, I, from what I remember, Buddy Cop has oh. always gone first. Because they attack me during my turn, but he always goes first. Well, that's that's still the same. That's that's still the same order of parameters. Because you go, they go, it goes, uh, you go. Yeah, it's not. It's, yeah. You you sound like you have a handle on it, so we'll just do whatever you. Yeah, I don't. I'm I'm getting lost. It. It. What I'm getting at is Hellhound attacks you next. Uh, it is it is going to uh, it is going to attack for, um. Oh dear. Yeah, I can't outroll that without a. Moose dog. Oh shit, I oh. actually can't outroll that. Oh? Well, let's see. You have a one, baby. Nine, if ten, I roll ten. a one, then yeah. Yeah, you have a 9, 10, 10, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's 1 in 100. Oh, uh, that was. You avoid the slam poetry and are unharmed. I was right about the beret. And, um. Now Buddy Cop gets to go. Uh... Oh, see, what I was saying is I thought Mines would go, and then when we came back to me, Buddy oh. Cop would go. Um, they're, they're, they're ice and thus move faster than human thought. Okay. Also, I think the dice roll would make you broken. Um, well, it's definitely making you win. <laughs> uh... Because, uh, yeah, but Buddy Cop twirls. I think it's. I think Buddy Cop is actually three d six. But he twirls his gun and just blows the rest of the the Hellhound away into into fibers and, and code. 
And no, he's is... 46. Is it? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I have his whole thing written I, on the back. I, 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 I might nerf Buddy Cop because been he's... speaking about it for three weeks. Huh? We've been speaking about nerfing Buddy Cop for three weeks. Okay, fine. Fuck you. It's 3d6 now. You just see that goal. It's sketchy play. That's canon now. <laughs> Suck it. Buddy Cop is sketchy play. Well, <laughs> Ace in the hole or something. <laughs> But, uh, has it been three? God damn. No, it's been Sergeant, 46 the whole time. Ser Sergeant Mines with the, with the, tr the, the necro bitching trivia. So, um, speaking, so, so you have, you, you have your cigarettes now. Are you, are you, are you happy? I'm sorry. Well, uh, is the alcohol stored behind the counter or in front of the, uh, like, do I have access to purchase that or do I have to ask for to get it? Fine, you want alcohol too? Jeez. What do you want? Do you want Smash or do you want something good? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a, a can of Smash and something good. Uh, and she she starts unlocking the, the cabinets to like pull that out to show you. Goes, what do you want? Uh, your favorite. Oh my god. Really? Oh, mm. and and so she it's at the point where where you her and you are just arguing openly now she's she's starting to get visibly agitated how much were the smokes and how much of the cigarettes is it covered by lifestyle or am i paying out of pocket um what was your lifestyle yeah bowl i believe then 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 no that's 50 eddies yeah, it's kibble for now. 58 worth of smokes. They're good smokes. They're, those are real biotechnica menthols that are really synthetic. <laughs> this entire time, I'm guessing the other party is still going up the stairs. Well, so... The thing is that the elevator's been out of service, so you guys have been climbing up flight after flight of stairs actually make that two two cans of smash and uh whatever your favorite is of the, the good stuff i'm really getting tired of your shit mister yeah well i'm just here to buy things And she she finally just grabs what feels like a random bottle from the rack and, and comes over and goes, That's gonna add another two hundred. Oh, both cans of smash in that number. Aren't smash like five, so five each or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, then the, then the, then the, like the whole it's like two your your total tab right now is like two seventy if I'm counting right. Yep. And so she she just starts counting things up, and she's very very shitty about it. And this buys enough time for Helvy to have another turn. Um, speaking of, uh, by destroying the Hellhound, you have you have accumulated the file uh, on this floor, which got you. Do I need to run an ID? Uh, four pieces of data um, at your leisure because um, these are items that you get so you got okay. um, uh, th th this is for the most part worthless data it's a crew roster a um, a stock roster um, yeah that, that's what, what a we vehicles came here for. roster like like these are all like rosters you wouldn't get much many credits if you sold these on the market What's up? No, that's. I was saying that's what that's what I wanted to get here. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Only, only uh, the other thing I told I told her before, Helvy beforehand was to make sure you get the tapes of that time. Oh, from the cameras. Yeah. I guess that's a program thing. Um. Well, that's you're actually able to do that pretty easily now that you have control of the cameras. 
I'll do that. Um, That's what Search is, uh, explicitly told you beforehand is to grab the tape, tapes of this time frame, when the when he got the cake. <laughs> uh, yeah, then I will move up in the architecture. To the, to the freezer top. control node. Uh. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I guess. Okay, it's it. You're you're in a you're in a you're in an igloo now, and there's a a big control node on the wall that says temperature, freezer. Yeah, I didn't. I don't really have a plan. What what can I do? Can I just turn the temperature up and down? You could yeah, you could mess with the freezer. Yeah, I guess we need a cover story as to why there was a, an alarm. I will make the I will uh make the freezer go as cold as it can get. Do okay. I need a con um, I, I would like you to control node this. You, you have to control the node first. Um, that gets you control. So yeah, you you just you you uh, you turn up the uh, the cold, and within a good couple of minutes, um, you you see what seems to be the billow of frost from from like under under the various like cabinets for the uh, the freezer. Uh, also. Oh, you're just gonna freeze and explode. Uh, to wrap up, I'll just roll eraser and jack out then. All right, roll me that eraser. Uh, actually, I need to res oh. eraser and then roll whatever the thing is. Yeah, cloak. the thing that gives me plus two. Oh yeah, eraser gives you plus two to cloak. Oh, that's great. There you go. And I'll check out. You you do so, and the sale is made, and the clerk looks back as the the um, there's there's thick frost all over the glass. She goes, "Oh no, that was the alarm! Oh shit!" And I'll, she she I'll say bursts before you could even say anything. She bursts in the back room and just frost billows like it's the arctic from from the back room and she goes oh shit it's super cold back here mines immediately uh runs over to where uh and and tr tries to find that roomba and just picks it up and walks out with it <laughs> oh i would suggest you steal the shotgun but you could do that too <laughs> oh no the shotgun's behind like armored wall i'm not gonna get that yeah it, it's you, you you'd have to like force your way okay. in I thought she had to open the door to the control room to go back there, but she, it was no, just like she a... has her own like room back there. Basically, there is a personnel area and a pleb area. Okay. Yeah, I, I just go and pick up the room and be like, Serge is gonna like this, and I'm just gonna walk out with it. <laughs> yeah, I will leave yeah. with Serge. I'm gonna say, yeah, you can do that. You just open up the little cubby where it is, and you just you just grab it. I'm gonna go put it in the middle of the tech car. And it's at this point that uh Surge, Mirage, Dino, and Wei Chen emerge on the right floor. Who Dino and Mirage are going, Why are the elevators out? Uh. Well Surge who who walks around a lot, it's actually actually is in decent decent shape this wasn't too much of a burn but it was still a bit and dino just lights up another smoke and says so is this the right floor do we have to uh, go up like more stairs are we good it looks this is the floor okay good finally jeez i'm actually going to uh basically grab grab this out of my pocket and just kind of flick it open real quick. Uh huh. And then, uh, 
just pick tools. And he's just gonna go, yeah. yeah. As, you know, as he was going up, he was also taking, he was looking at the locks to figure out what tool he would use when he gets there. Uh, every one of these doors has a, um, a mag lock based off an electronic card reader. Now that makes it even easier for Surge. He was expecting you to have to pick a physical lock. Um, no, that, that's that's more of a like I don't know if the combat because those are, I mean, yeah, they'd be something you'd afford if you were poor, but but you'd also know that that would not stand very much against a, a robber. <laughs> picking, I said, picking a lock is if you get a good like disc retainer lock, no way is, is somebody picking through that. They're they're better off uh, just oh, just booting, blowing it, right? a hole through, through the door. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking it was like a it was like a mounted like door lock. Nope, it's just a big blocky mag lock that uh, is built like into the frame. Okay, then yeah, no, he's he's still gonna whip out a little bypass. Yeah, he, he, he's gonna whip out a magnet and just kind of slap it to the side to try and overpower the magnet of the mag lock. Um. Uh, well. Well, you're walking through a, a crowded apartment building. Is there there are folks walking around and um, uh, yeah, he's, he's trying to do this discreetly. <laughs> well, the thing is, is in front of the the specific room, there's a Valentino just sitting there. He he spoke. He looks looks to your crowd. and goes, "Oh, are you are you Padres people?" Uh, I just go, "Yeah." I've had an essay. We haven't been able to get the door open. I'll just say, yeah, I got something for this. Uh, as I just, you know, crack my knuckles and uh, do my little magnet trick. So that'll be the electronic security tech. Yeah. Uh, it, it very quickly you hear the kathunk of the of the lock being bypassed, and you're able to just push the door open. There you go. All right, now let's give this thing a thorough look over. <laughs> mm -hmm. You enter the apartment, and it's it's uh, very small. It, it it's it's like one main room and a bathroom. Uh, there there's a bit of there's a bit of like an office space that's been set up that's like a a small computer, uh, but this just kind of seems to be uh, a, um, a, col a college person's apartment. Mm -hmm. Though like um, though in in the corner you you do see the uh, the crumpled lifeless form of the person as well as um, the cake in question that's it's laying next to them on the floor. I get a very detailed look at the scene with using procession check. Yes. Um, you you uh, you check his arm first, and you see that there's a bio monitor that um, is just is showing off the flat line, and it's also saying it says uh, notifying superiors, and it's showing cause of death, poison, and and such like that. Like it appears that he died, and that's what what sent it off. Yeah, I'm actually going to. Um, can I interface with the uh, biomonitor using Cybertech to kind of get a little bit more details on this? Uh, in a second, because um, Wei Chen's still investigating the scene. Um, yeah. You can see that he ate a good portion of the cake and then started like gushing blood as it, it ripped apart his respiratory system and he passed away. There wasn't much of a struggle or anything. Uh, nasty way to go. <laughs> Is what, what's her... I that's just Serge's response to that. <laughs> Oh, you can do a bad monitor thing. Like yeah. Um. Well, there is something you do find in his, uh, in his pocket, 
which is a a note that says um uh thank you for always believing me uh sandra i'm going to show um serge the the note sandra I'm actually going to ask the Val is the Valentino still out there? Uh, yeah? What do you want? Hey, you know, was, uh, was, uh, what was his name, uh, Jose? Did Jose know a, a Sandra? Or was he dating Sandra a Sandra or something? Sandra, Sandra, hold on. He looks up his agent and he, he goes through some context and goes, yeah, she lives just down the, down the corridor, I think. Wait, this, okay. This is, I heard. I, I thought we have heard this name before. Like, is she from the the bodega job that we have to like? We're supposed to kidnap a person. Is it the same person or? No. Hmm. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. Because that girl skipped that town. Girl home. Yeah, Ramon brought that girl uh, home. No, San, Sandra's a pretty common name. Yeah, I go. Yeah, did she? Did she know? Did she know our, our boy here? Uh, I don't know. I I I didn't really deal with this guy. Uh, I'll just say, thanks for the info, though. Uh, that might that gives me s some place to look. Well, I'm at it. I'm I'm actually still gonna whip uh whip out a little tool to um whip out my uh. What was it? My tech scanner, so I can hook up to the biomonitor to see, to get um, the diagnostic the diagnostic codes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's pretty easy for you to get. You you interface in and you you get the uh, the codes, and you're able to establish a pretty clear timeline of death. Is uh, it looks it's what it appears to be is he ate the cake. And then um, toxins began attacking his respiratory system. I'm going to okay. ask him, Serge, like, do you know about his death state? Like, what is his death state? Time of death. Yeah, no, no. like, how long has he been sit? Has he been rotting here? What Since this morning. Yeah, this morning. Mm. Yeah, so probably no way to, you know. Not even, not even, uh, is that? Uh, CSI Night my City. Fix it. Yeah. His lungs are gone. Yeah. I, I, I point at all that kind of like beefy looking stuff around around the around on the, the blood in the table and I say, yeah, no, there's his lungs. Uh, Alright, I guess we should talk to a, the same jar person. But uh, I might get some more information. Get, I'm going to give a, a, a once... I'm going to give a... um. Once over the cake box. All right. You look at the cake box, and it appears to be a cardboard box that was like once used for shipping. That was just quickly painted over with like flamboyant colors. I'm gonna rebox up this cake and and uh, grab some duct tape and just tape it over and whip out like a marker and just write. Poison cake. Do not eat. <laughs> On the box. Cool. Okay, you, you you contain the SCP. Now what? <laughs> the big box of do not touch this thing. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm going to put the I'm gonna put the cake on the counter and say that uh, and and I'm I mean, is there any? I'm uh, then I'm gonna go to the uh, like the drawers, see if there's anything, any other kind of trying to. Since he was, he basically had had to have had this cake for an entire day if he got it this, or at least got it during the night shift. So I mean, he wouldn't just rip it open and start eating the cake immediately. I mean, uh, no, well, I've. How often do you think these people have cake? Very rarely. But he might have done a little bit of prep work, like putting his keys up or something like that. 
Um, well, he he just works in the bodega and he does his office work online. You 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 find a lot of his notes. You find a lot of um, like personal correspondence, but none of it really seems to be relevant to the case. Yeah, I was just trying to see if there was if I could pick out like a motive. Like if you shafted somebody or something. But this is looking to be weird. Yeah. I mean, so I'm gonna tell the Valentino that I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check on the Sandra. Let's go check out check out the Sandra person. Okay. Mm -hmm. You 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 uh th your procession goes goes out down the hall to the the apartment that's been marked by the Valentinos as Sandra's apartment. And uh, Sa Sandra co comes out and says, hello? Hey, uh, Sandra, right? Yes, yes, my name, my name is Sandra. Hey, did you know uh, Jose, Jose down, the, down the hall? They're saying he died? Mm-hmm. It's, it's true it's true and and she she starts she starts yeah. crying and Wei Chen you're like why are why is she making human emotion that makes no sense I'm kidding she you're you're she's crying maybe 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 she knew the maybe she knew the suspect like or the the victim maybe maybe that's the case you know mm. but 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 yeah she she bursts into tears. I, I'm actually going to to um, I, I'm essentially going to lay my cards on the table here and say look I'm I'm not a criminologist or, or a detective here I'm just here to figure out who who killed who killed who what, killed uh, what makes you Jose. think he was murdered well the fact that the fact that the um, the fact that he was poisoned when enough, enough poisons to melt his lungs. How was he poisoned? A cake. <gasps> I gave him a cake. Where did you got the cake from? The the butcher the 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 butcher Francisco he he gave me the cake. He said he he said it was given to him. Okay, this is this is a trail I got we got a chase. Yeah, no, the cake was the cake was poisoned. Oh dear. But it was um it was delivered to him. So I mean if you got it from the black from the black market and so you got it from the black market from him to, no, to the, get the, him the, the butcher the butcher gave it to me, said it said said it was a gift. That 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 he he, he got it. Who's the butcher exactly? Uh, Francis Fran Francisco. He 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 uh, he works with me from time to time. Mind up. We're trying to get yeah, to the but... bottom of of how of what hap where this poison cake came from. Uh, Francisco. This never should have happened. So, thank you for being so cooperative. Yo, you know where he is? Yeah, he she uh, shows you on her agent where where his uh, butcher shop is, and it's it's like not attached to this building, but it's like on the next building over. It's very very nearby. All right. Okay. I'm. Yeah. No. Uh, How are we gonna begin the trek up the stairs? You do you want to? Well, mine doesn't know they're coming down, so he's gonna go up. <laughs> He's gonna leave the bottle of whatever this lady gave her. He, I don't know what. It it, uh, it says um, smugglers special XXX. I'm actually oh, going yeah. to. I'm gonna um, leave that in the car with the uh, with the Roomba and take. I'm gonna. Smash. I'm actually gonna grab the cake on the way down, saying, "I'm taking this and making sure it is never eaten again." Unless we want it to be eaten. Who's gonna eat a half-eaten cake? Well, we we could doctor it up. We can put some fr like cut it down. And Photoshop it a bit. Yeah. Also, who are we trying to assassinate? Sketchy. I don't think Sketchy would accept confectionery from us. No, 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 no. He he'll accept it from some other person though. 
Oh, Ayumi has to give him a cake. Yes. But I don't think Sergeant so, Mines. Like. <laughs> and we don't have to tell Ayumi about it, so that no, they don't, don't have to feel like they're betraying Sketchy. Okay, well, well, we're talking about conspiracies with death cake. I'm gonna go refill my booze. <laughs> what do we know? Do we know expiration date on the cake? Like, no. Two. Do, yeah. The yeah. cake may may be covered with blood. Is covered in blood and lung bits. All right. Well, nothing. I'm, a little I'm bit of. Okay. Yeah. We don't really need. To, we we can just like cut away the outside of the cake yeah. and just take a small little part of the cake and put it in our new cake. Yeah, nothing a little bit of culinary art can fix. Yeah, and yeah, I, I definitely have access to culinary artists. We can even like stuff a bomb into it if you, if you guys want it. Like, want to. I did think earlier when um when the clerk told you like you're not a cop, I don't have to listen to you or whatever. I was like, damn it, I should have stole his badge too. That would have been so useful. A traffic PD. Yeah. No, no, my my goal now is to steal a badge because that would be useful. We gotta go kill a California Ranger and get their get their Ranger Sequoia and get their badge. <laughs> you you'll see how these uh, humanity go up, go down again. <laughs> you do that. I was thinking at uh, at the beginning of the session about asking to get um, therapy, but then I was like, I don't know. I enjoy being on the edge of cyberpsychosis. You get minor well, therapy, so it only goes up a little bit, so you have a little bit of a damper pad. I have two points of three, three points of dampener. Buffer, yeah, 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 but getting getting tortured two D six. I'm gonna go get some water. You could have well, done that like thirty seconds ago. I know, yeah, right? Two D six. And he's is back. A... Time to get water. Two D six is not enough to get me. Seed. No. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, who would torture me? Um. Dan CPD. I don't know. Yeah. Many. Many people. Oh would. yeah. As I was saying, but uh, while you were away, I I would like to steal an NPC an NCPD badge sometime. Okay. It would have just come in useful because that store clerk suggested that they that they said. What did they say? Um, you're not a cop. I don't have yeah, to listen you're to not you. a cop. You're not. You don't have to listen to us. And I just thought in that moment it would be so epic to have a, a badge, because that would that would <laughs> well, open so could, many doors for you. Could be a lawman. I could. I could just switch <laughs> careers. <laughs> time, time to go to a police academy, Helvy. Well, you, so, it could be Helvy Nimmin, internet cop. <laughs> the yeah, internet police. <laughs> you should go to the Nedwatch website. Oh my too, god! Uh... Navy just sat down and then Neko stood up. I'm I'm still here. They're they're technically one person. You've never heard them speak at the same time. It's musical chairs. They're never in the same room at the same time. So, what now? I now I need to. I I don't even know how class respecting works. Cause then I wouldn't be a netrunner at all anymore. I'd well, go to law if I if I upgraded to. Lawman, I'd have to do it as a roll ability, and I'd go to Lawman six. No, no. no uh, ba you, you so basically, you you would base you would be starting off as it, it, it's it's um, not very efficient because you basically stop being known as a net runner and then become known as a as a law law official. Um, oh, so I I just I just lose the interface and I start it. Oh no, you still have your interface. It's just you stop getting known as a net runner. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's more long it's more long lines of you get be like if Helby joined uh Netwatch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um at which point you'd want to have pretty high interface when you made that switch. That way you could be a really good cop. Because yeah, yeah, your credibility wouldn't be that high, but you'd still have that that giant um, that that four actions while net running and just zap people into oblivion. Yeah, I I think Helvy might think a, a, for a second about how cool it would be to be an actual cop and then realize how much work that would be, <laughs> and not do that at all. <laughs> yeah, earning the plaques is the hard way to go. Yeah, Stealing the plaques is, is the fun way. <laughs> just steal them. <laughs> Stolen. 
That is like the lamest value you could have stolen as <laughs> being the best ticket uh, meter maid. <laughs> no, no, this dude, this dude was like, he had a bunch of shit. He was like a top cop. He was yeah. top cop of the traffic department. No, yeah. no, he said he had like a lot of plaques. Like he was. He had a lot top. of plaques, yeah, but they're all they're all for very boring stuff, like traffic related. Traffic. Because yeah, he's. He, because the thing is, is that that he he was he was mostly just like a desk officer. Yeah, also, I guarantee you he's into some illegal stuff with the mob or something, because he had real cigarettes, and I don't think you can get those on a cop salary. No, not on his salary. That so, or he uh, was that or he was getting the bribes. That's what I get. To, to satisfy this desire to become a cop, I should expose this cop. I should. <laughs> do. I'm Take getting down disco down. Elysium flashbacks. Is uh is does mines uh run into the parties they're going down the stairs as he goes up? Yes. Yeah, so so you see mines like going up the stairs very like as fast as he can, holding two like cans of smash, one in each hand, not open, just like holding them out. Uh, as I'm walking down with a big box of the cake in it. Oh, cake! And he goes to take it. In. No, that's why we're here. No, 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 no. Oh. don't stop him! Don't stop him! Oh. No, I, I take that back. I don't say anything. <laughs> what? So no one's gonna stop mines from taking a bite out of this cake. Nope. Yeah. No, no, no. One's gonna uh, I'm, I actually will, cause like it's tape, it's oh. labeled on the top, poison cake, and it's duct taped in the box. Well, well, if if, like, if a message is so obvious and ignores it, it must be like a willful decision. So you he can't interfere with someone's free will. Search. Who cake? All right. It cake. Yeah. I yeah. said yeah. Poison cake. Yeah, I, I know why we're here. I guess like it's just one of those any like big air quotes boomer jokes. Here and he he, uh, he hands one can of smash to um. What's the girl's name? The driver and one to the uh, fuck you know that guy. Dino. Um, yeah. My name is Mirage <laughs> and that's Dino. You don't even remember their name. He just he just you don't even remember their name. Direction. They aren't my teammates. I don't care. I feel like Dino huh? would like to be known as the fuck you militate. I'm militate guy though. Fuck you, I'm militech. Yeah, All right, yeah. we have we have, we have a lead. We need to go to a butcher shop. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it's next. It next building over. Okay. Well, here you guys uh, have this. These are. There's a lot of stairs here, and I'll just give the uh, the two assistants a can of smash each. D Dino um, opens his, and Mirage just kind of pockets hers. I'm I'm actually gonna uh say uh before we go, I want Helvy. We go like I said. The instant we're out of the building, I'm gonna ask Helvy to look over the footage. I got you a surprise, Serge. Um, it's in the car. You shouldn't have. Anyway. Uh, big old... Yeah, y'all just go to the butchers. I'll go sit in my car and, and look over, because I got more than just the footage. Yeah. I, I, I keep just forgetting for... that, that Helvy drives around in a stolen car now. <laughs> It's not stolen. It it totally is legally licensed to me. And it also Helvy doesn't drive. It it's it's a smart no, car. I took, just I, sits it's a smart it. car, I oh, know. It is a smart car, but I did also take drive five. So. Oh you did? Oh did you? Okay, yeah, you I can have, actually uh, drive it now. Yeah, no, I, I the same episode, because uh, instead of going up to running six I did that. I remember yet yeah, now. Yeah, cause I wasn't going to sell the car, so it'd be kind of pointless to have one and not be able to drive it. Makes perfect sense. So, yeah, I'm going to go sit in the car and look over that data while I go to the butchers. I'm going to put the cake, like, in in the trunk. Okay. Of a vehicle. Of, of the Militech vehicle. Which one? Which vehicle? Uh, I, I'm gonna guess not in the Militech vehicle. I'm just gonna put the cake in the trunk because I don't want to carry it around. 
Oh no, I not in my. I don't want the poison thing in my car. Then, then, then it does go in the, the the back of the middle tech vehicle. I'm afraid. With the with All the right. drone. Well, yeah, there's just know. a Roomba and a poison cake and well, some guns. Well, I, I put the Roomba in the back seat, so like as he's putting it in the trunk, I pull the Roomba out and like thrust it in his direction. I could do something with this. Well, thinks about taping a claymore to the front of it. Oh, we can, yeah, we can put explosives in it and and program it to go clean Sketchy's office. <laughs> <laughs> like everything we get right now, we, we're thinking about Sketchy, like. Yeah, we're, we're totally planning on, on, on killing Sketchy one of these methods. <laughs> I found some blue glass. I could use this blue glass in order to kill Sketchy Salvador. <laughs> we should just try... By we doing should, a lot of blue a, glass. Take a CIA on Fidel Castro approach and just try 30 different methods at once and hope one works. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a good point. Like, we should send the cake in and then, like, 15 minutes later, send the nuke in. All right, enough of us sketchy for now. We're 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 on the job right now. We're, we're hard by, yeah. We're we're hard yep. by Valentino. Yeah, let's, so, let's head to the super chat shop. So what what kind of what kind of lead is this? Is this like a we go in there and I put him on the ground and handcuff him and? No no uh, no, we're not gonna ask Clay so fast. We're we're just gonna ask some questions first. We're gonna ask questions. Uh, we're only gonna resort to that if he starts running. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, this is like my, it, this is my expertise. This is what I'm good at. I'm gonna say this isn't that kind of, this isn't that kind of lead. All right. So, um, before we head to the butcher shop, he, mm -hmm. um, Wei Chang is going to um, open his um, briefcase and then pull out his uh, screamer and then hold holster it into his um, pocket, like you, just, just just in case. Do you th do you think a cyber psycho is gonna burst out of the? The pig. No, this, is a, this is a stun gun. No, no, it's a screamer. So it's just going to like because um if you get oh, damage. Oh, I'm here, thinking of the microwave, aren't I? Yeah. If you get damage here, your your, your movement is basically halved. Like. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This is the crowd control one. That's right. Yeah. My mine's is just gonna move his like from us from a back sling to a front sling, so it's like hanging across his front of the chest. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I, I'm just gonna walk in empty-handed. <laughs> Mine's just gonna look as intimidating as he possibly can. I'm just gonna go. So yeah, no, I'm gonna go into the butcher's the butcher shop. And... In inside is just a circular like like display that has all sorts of like butchered fresh meats. There's there's a turret gun that's like mounted in the 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 ceiling. It's it's a pop up, so it's like not down right now. But you can see, like, it, it's marked, Turret Gun, Please Behave. Um, and there's, there's like, a glass door that, 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 like, a staff can help you at. In case, in case you, like, need something. Yeah, no, I'm going to, uh, ding the bell, if, if there is one. You, so you ding the bell, and a person comes up, um, uh, cleaning their hands, goes, uh, what's up? Hey, um, Francisco? Uh, I'll get him, one second. And, uh, Francisco! He, soon, um, a, a, a smaller gentleman with, with, like, sh short, mousy hair under, under a net comes up and goes, Yeah? Yeah, hey. Um, what was her name? What was the, the girl's name again? Uh, Indra. Yeah, Sen Indra. Sen Sandra said you you gave her a cake. Yeah, but it on that market. Yeah, where'd you? Oh yeah, yeah. Turns out that cake was that cake was poison, man. No. Yeah, no, no. Uh, oh. I'm gonna say like, Jose's Jose died. Yeah, he he was. Jose. Yeah, no. Sandra gave it to Jose, so he 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 um oh opens the door and steps out and he he um uh gives you pulls out his agent he said hey i i did i didn't kill anyone this this is the information for the night market i went to this is the guy i bought it from like i i i didn't know okay i i'll say i completely believe you man man i mean hey this is just some this is just a 
something that went real bad. This is just something just went real bad here. I'm just trying to figure out where the cake came from, man. And the, this is the address. It, um, it, it's it's like this this bakery meetup that happens. There's a guy. He he rolls up with the truck, and it's very small night market. You you just uh, he, he he rolls up and he has so many cakes every night, and um, it, it's sometimes a different guy every night, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. No, it was it was pretty nice. It was a pretty nasty one. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to let Damn. you know, man. I got yeah. Pat Patre sent me over to uh, to check things out. Oh, this is Padre's work. Okay. So, so, I, it wasn't the regular guy last night. It was, it was some guy I haven't seen before. And he looked like he didn't know what he was doing. He, he was, he, it, it looked like he didn't know what he had. I see. Cause, yeah, no, some, something about the box set me up, set me up. Gave me a little red flag afterwards, you know. It wasn't it, the box wasn't right, man. Okay, I well, uh, here's my information. Call me if you need me. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, right before I turn back and say, I'll go. go. Wait, this is a chance, butcher. Butcher shop, and I go. Wait, just just a sh show goodwill, man. Uh, give me some picanha. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It, it's a cut of it's a cut of beef. It's a it's a it's a Spanish cut of beef. Why are you holding Spanish cuts of beef on you? Uh, I've got, I turned to the butcher. Oh, you're asking him for picanha. Uh, picanha, yeah. Okay. Uh, since this is like a Latin style butcher, he he's like he's the kind of guy who would have that kind of stuff. He would definitely be able to get that for you. In fact, it's he... gonna be stint, but it is it's it is synthetic. But the way they cut it, it. it they have them go through the rigor of cutting it to make them believe it's the real thing, but we all know it isn't. Uh, yeah. In in that regard, though, he eventually comes out with with a freshly packaged. Um, uh, you you've seen it before, styrofoam. It's it's packed over, but it's it's the meat you asked for, and um, he's he's gonna he's only gonna charge you sixty euro bucks for it. I. I... Will that be covered by my uh What's your by pre pack? Uh pre pack? I'm gonna say that yes it is. Because he good, gives you a good deal. I I go Thanks man. Thanks man. I'm I'm gonna make sure this all gets cleared up. Here's why is why I tell is why I tell him. Hey, you just tell the Valentinos I'll be one of the ones kicking them in, eh? You got you got it. I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna get Padre. I'm gonna get Padre a call and send him the data. Respect. And he goes back behind the glass and he gets back to work. That worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Yeah. No. It looks like it just looks like some. This uh, this this wasn't uh this doesn't look like it was a big uh, uh complicated plot. It was more of just a series of nasty screw ups. Hmm. Either way, uh, I'm going to talk to those food bank people instead of going in there and just shooting. Be sure to check for poison in your, in your beef stuff, you know. Very safe than sorry. Hey, Death wait, pork. Wait. Cicero, Death when, beef. I was, when, I, when I was at your house, didn't you have a grill? Cicero? No, no, uh, wait, Chen, when I, when I was at your house, didn't you have a grill? Yeah, an electric one. And he just slowly turns to Surge. I just go, I got a better, you don't cook this on a grill, man. You got to spit roast this stuff. Really? Yeah, it's like full, it's beef kind of folded into the shape of a C. You, you normally put it on a spit. Picanha, it's, it's Brazilian. Uh -huh. And then what you do is you put it on a spit and then you uh, rotate oh. and cook it on a Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, you put that on a spit, okay. Yeah, you, you, you put that on a spit over a fire. It's really good. It's from the rump cap muscle. Mm -hmm. If you want to actually buy it, 
if you want to buy it from a, a butcher, ask for tri-tip. Yeah, that's yeah, that makes sense. Because um, they will not they will not know what picanha is. In either case, you have you now have the location of a of a albeit small night market for pastries. <laughs> I'm going to call Padre and say and and see what more does he want from this job? Like like how how, how many Well well you uh, call him up, uh he says uh Greetings. I, I I heard you've already talked to a few people. What have you found anything? Yeah, the cake came from the cake came from a night market. Basically, night market. Bas yeah, basically what happened is the butcher is that a um a butcher Francisco bought the cake, uh -huh. not knowing what it was. Oh. And then and gave it to gave it to a coworker to give to give to give to her uh, give to your boy Jose. So basically, it was, it was supposed to be a good gift that just went real, real wrong. So, but he said that the, uh, he said the pastry deliver, the pastry guy was off. Well, in that case, uh, I, I could make this worth your while if you, if you can get to the bottom of this. Talk to the pastry man. I got, I got. It. I was just trying to make sure how far, how far down you wanted this to go. <laughs> Um, I, I, I could give your, depending on how this goes, I, I can make this worth your while. I go, absolutely, Padre. Um, I'll make sure this, this, uh, goes. I'll make sure this ends up right. Does he want the cake man alive or dead? That's my question. I'm saying. Well, well, Where do you uh, want him? uh, he, the, the Valentinos want him alive. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure. I'll make sure he comes back live. Looks like it. Looks like it was the butcher was doing something nice and it just went wrong. So that's that's the intel I got for so far. Is what I tell Padre. Well, I'm, thank you. In any case, then I'd I'd like you to continue with the investigation. Of course. Just wanted to give you. A, a heads up on what was up and wanted to get some clarification make sure job was done right anyway I'll get back to it all right time to head to the so now the it's my kind of job <laughs> yeah I'm gonna though before this happens my kind of job does this mean you're gonna start shooting people and black bagging yeah that's exactly what this means. Oh god. I'm I said let's keep this clean. Out. Let's keep this clean until we have to actually spend money on ammunition. Well, uh, it's fine. I, I, my my business helps subsidize my ammunition costs. It, and this, this gun runs on charge packs. Yeah, I I think we're set. I just For me, I just say store. I have to make I make my own bullets by hand. Yeah, um, for me, all, all I need is to go to the store and get some garbage bags. I just go. You, we can prep that lit. Go ahead and prep that. This will, It'll be a while till the uh, night market rolls around. Well, Do I we mean, know it's, when... it's called a night market, but it hap it happens like midday. Like, like um, uh, it's only, you, you count a good couple of hours until this the supposed night market so it's supposed to show up. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but that's enough time for me to ask Kelly what the footage looked like. Well, it's nothing spectacular as Helvy reports. It's just um, uh, San uh, Sandra show shows up with the cake, uh, pecks him on the cheek, and then and then leaves. Uh, can I look over, also look over the files that I got and see if that if there's anything related to this case in there? Just Roll check. me some ID. Roll one or four independent checks. Um, let's start with one and see how we feel afterwards. Okay, and um, which which file was that for? Staff goods. Um. Uh, well, yeah. Now, after seeing the cake, I they already told me that it didn't, it came from the butchers. So, 
I guess I'll look at staff because I I know the cake didn't come from the bodega. Um. Well, when it comes to staff, it's relatively boring. You 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 see names, dates, addresses. A lot of them live in the bode in the apartment structure that the bodega is built into out of convenience. Um. The managers are from in town and from the looks of things they don't show up very often i am gonna want their addresses too. um yeah th uh one lives in the upper marina and the other lives in pacifica what are you gonna do with their addresses send them pamphlets i'm not gonna give your addresses for that <laughs> poor people Oh wait, are you talking about the people who own the business, or yes. like yeah. the people on her? The people who own the business. You can have their addresses. Yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna send them Oasis Community Outreach Program pamphlets to get their bodega involved in the Oasis Community Outreach you, Program. You, you, you do so. Um. Yeah. Then I'll look over. What there's, there were three pieces, or there were four pieces. Correct. What, uh, what were the, stock was one of them. What were the other two? Um. Stock, staff, uh, vehicles, uh, uh, ve vehicle traffic, which which was like deliveries essentially, um, and the last one is marked um, Operation Perfect Blue. Well, obviously, I'm gonna open Operation Perfect Blue. All right, roll me, roll me another, um, roll me another cracky crack check. Sounds like something that needs. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get burned if I spend luck on this. It's gonna be something about a birthday party. Just spend it. I'm gonna roll flat first. Ugh. Um, you try to pry open the digital folder, but it will not budge. Uh. I'll try again and I'll give it two luck. <laughs> two luck, big spender. I have six. Yeah. Don't spend all the ones. That's a 19 plus a d10. Roll, roll me that d10 for posterity. There you go. You got only, a flat. only rolled a 20. 22 luck. the luck. Oh, that's no, right. the luck is... Yeah. No, he yeah he he factored it in. It's a twenty. Oh, but yeah. um, yes, you crack open the digital folder, and this is a um. You learn well. It flat out says that this is a biotechnica front bodega, that is uh selling synthetic alcohols that are designed to um right now discover the uh preferences of of the locals in order to build the ultimate soft drink all pretty badass uh, sounds something like continental brands would actually want that da that data and yeah this sounds like something that you could sell to continental brands for a pretty penny I will uh, split the money with you because I'm a contact and cotton. You don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I'm just saying that ahead of time. Um. Well, I think I've ruined all of Biotechnica's test drinks. I I think you did as well. But the well, project the project one? data itself is did worth money. Because because something you can figure out while you're looking through this is this isn't the only bodega in this program. Did I happen to purchase one of these test drinks? No, you bought Smash. No, well, I well, bought a he, of he bought a bottle of liquor, but there's there's no way of knowing because it it doesn't actually say. It just has code names for the different bottles, and it says there are placebo bottles that are on offer in the off chance, like that it's a residual effect. Some people might really like L Rot Gut. You don't know. Um. Okay. 
we'll come back to that later. Uh, I guess the other two don't have anything useful, or should I roll for those? You can roll for them if you want. It From the sounds of things, they don't look or sound very valuable. Yeah, just tie up illusions, make sure there's well, nothing about the case you can in always, there. You can always sell that employee folder to some, like, to uh, WorldSat for their advertising lists. Or Ziggurat. Yep, or Ziggurat. I'm not out to screw these people. Fair. Just people with nice yeah. cars and people with nice plaques. <laughs> Is that the guy who got the yeah. frame out flat on the windshield? He, he, he had the, the, the count, the, the person behind the counter did not have a car or a good work plaque. So they're fine. <laughs> you don't know that you weren't in their house. Very specific reason of like fucking over someone. Spoiler: There were no plaques in their house. Yeah, I don't think I didn't get the 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 feeling from them that they had a whole lot of performance no, plaques. Yeah. yeah, no. They weren't exactly employee of the month material. Not really, no. All right, yeah. If there's nothing, then I'll I'll tell. Um, yeah, I'll tell Serge there's nothing in there. Yeah, there's not not too much to report. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, it looks like my my gut feeling was right on the right on the money. Uh, I, I'll tell the Valentinos just. I'll tell the Valentinos that are like standing around, that the uh, Sandra and the butcher are clean. They didn't do they didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, you you. You see some of the Valentino members, and you you say that and says, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, man, I'll spread the word around." And he pulls out his agent and starts starts sending the word. And um, um, it was a he al he also like gives you the 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 data well address for. It's it's not like the Valentino well, but it's one of the data pools that they use to like organize the more mundane shit like um grill outs and stuff like that yeah i was gonna say that i was just gonna say yeah no they they were doing a good thing for they were trying to do a good thing for for the guy but the cake they bought just was bad because it's because um something to keep in in note about the valentinos is this is their like guardian gang portion of their lifetime um from what I understand, they're kind of always a guardian gang. 27-7's weird because it portrays them as bad guys, but they don't actually do anything hostile. They're just bad guys to shoot at. Um, yeah, no, they're... The Valentinos, from what I understand, are still still a guardian gang because in every plot line they're in, they're good guys. <laughs> <laughs> So I've yep. never considered the the Valentinos to be like a, a bad gang. Well, oh, yeah. morally, bad. I mean they do, do they do they do do the, the rounds of extortion and whatnot, but who doesn't? Anyone <laughs> in gang, any gang would does that. Any yeah. Corporation does that. I'll stand in corporal man. <laughs> corporal man. So what? So where are you? Yeah, I mean, everyone's got to get their money somehow, Boffrin. Yeah, um, so I'm just. Yeah, so... yeah I guess. But... Oh, go ahead. I'm also gonna tell the uh, Valentinos uh, that uh, about the uh, the cake. That I'm I'm gonna get, put the word out that to let me know if you see this cake, this guy dealing cakes. Um. Uh, well, do do you do you know where where he where he works? Do you do you, do you know where the I, I, I point I point out. I said I have the data. Yeah. It says, uh, do do you need backup? I'll say I'll give you just eyes to make sure uh, we get the right guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, just get some of your good eyes on it, which is a. Uh, street term for a gang lookout which is easy enough because that this is the center of valentino territory they're gonna they're gonna be able to have an eye looking in yeah 
And he says as much. She says, yeah, well, we got eyes. We got eyes, I say. I say. Cool. So, yeah, no, I'm going to get ready for the for the night market. Make sure we get the right guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to the store and buy, buy black garbage bags. Okay. Uh, into the same bodega or a different one? If they're in there, I'm going in the same bodega. Well, every every bodega does sell them now. They're called... They're, the name's a little misleading. Basically, they're giant ass bags that you could definitely fit a corpse in. Yeah, yeah, they're dumpster bags. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. He walks in and he he gives her a smile. He doesn't even he doesn't even go to the the garbage bag area yet. He just puts his like his elbows on the counter and goes. Oh my God! You're back again, creeper. What the hell? Where's your weird goggle friend? Out committing very, very lovely acts, helping children cross the street, petting puppies, kissing babies. God, what do you want? Garbage bags. It's over there. In the big aisle with the garbage bags. It has a sign. Oh, I know. And he just turns around and walks to the garbage bag aisle. Well, he's in the garbage and, bag aisle. And I he's, believe he the price is 30 eddies. I might be wrong. Yeah. He sends... How many do I get? Um... How many do you want? Well, like, like, how many come in a pack for 30? Is it, like, one for 30, or is it, like, a pack for 30? I, I want to say it's 10 eddies a bag. So, let's say a box of them is, a hundred, is like, 100 eddies, but has, like, 10 in them. Yeah. But I'll it's a really that. big box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good deal. I'll, I'll take that. But as, as I'm grabbing it in the aisle, I'll send Serge a text to come in and talk to the lady behind the counter. Yeah, no, I'm, go I'm going to walk in and I go, whatever. I'm going to walk in and say, say, hey, did you know, um, did you know Jose? It was the night shift. I didn't really know him that well. Is, is he a murderer? Is there something wrong, officer? Are you an officer? I don't know. No, I'm working with the. US. No, I'm working with the Dinos. Oh. What? Did he murder someone? No, he's dead. Oh. Oh. That that's why his shift is getting covered tonight. Okay. Yeah. Well, no yeah, one no. told me. Yeah, no poison cake. A what? I'm saying that's what got him was a poison cake. What's a cake? Like a, take for like a, a really fluff, fluffy bit of bread. And mine's all really sweet. We oh. actually have a cake. It's like sweet. Try some. <laughs> are we're not killing? We're not killing people in a team. Are, are we going renegade option now? Or are we gonna just do that? Remember, this is okay. this is how you. This is how we lost Ramon. <laughs> Hang up the pink mohawks. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just gonna I'm I'm going in there talking like, so yeah, did you know anything? Did you know anything about that? About that? I'm um, trying to make sure that uh, everything's good. Know anything about him? I'm the morning shift, and he's the night shift, and I like see him for like ten minutes, and then he goes away, and then we don't talk. Well, I had to ask. Very, very nice coworker you are. I said I had to ask. Padre. Well, it's not Padre because I don't care. It's just he's so tired because it's like he's up all night, you know? Yeah. Mm. Padre, wants, Padre wants someone to pay. Now I'm just trying to figure out who. I don't care what your daddy wants. I'm not I'm I'm not a daddy issues person. Padre is the head of the is a, is one of the heads of the Tinos. The what? You, I said, eh, whatever. I just, I just mutter, yeah, whatever, and walk out. Yeah, I put the box on the counter. I need one of these and slip a hundred of these under the. She, she rings you up and and you're good. All right. Uh, I'm going to a bandit to get a pair of handcuffs. 
A pair of handcuffs? Yeah. I have handcuffs well, and bags. Well, well, I don't really know that, so. Well, no, I, I I carry them outside of I carry them on my hip. Like, he he, he is he's at Would all times. Would future Seven Eleven sell handcuffs? It's fifty dollars. Like it's. No, no, they would definitely sell handcuffs, but they would be pink and fuzzy. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. If it's those kind of handcuffs, I'm not going they, to buy they, them. They are, in fact, sexy time handcuffs, yes. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to buy them, yeah. Are you sure you don't want pink fuzzy handcuffs? No, no. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're still handcuffs, they work, it's just they're also pink and fuzzy. <laughs> Let me turn a guy in. I wonder if a cop actually uses this. <laughs> You're under arrest. Hey, these oh, handcuffs yeah. feel kind of good. No, it's <laughs> definitely like like a bike cop that wears like you know like spandex shorts. Yeah, he carries them. I thought these were supposed to. I thought these were supposed to hurt. These feel kind of relaxing. Like don't don't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Or let's head to a night market. <laughs> All right, uh, a cu a couple hours pass, and you you you've cased out you've cased out this little alleyway in a, a a nearby tenement neighborhood where this so-called night market sets up, and on the hour this this pastry truck drives down stops. And a uh, a person in a hoodie gets out, gets out, and he opens up the back. He opens up the side. He fold. He he starts pulling out this like display he has. And there are all sorts of like cakes and pastries, and some some of the local residents are starting to kind of like come up and queue up. I'm I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna uh, essentially uh. Make sure that this is the, the same guy that he said he bought it from. <laughs> like, the, if the description fits. Well, you you have the description. Um, how, how are you going to verify it? Do you, like, walk up to the guy and just get his attention? Essentially, I'm, I'm just going to walk up and get... Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what do you say? Can, can ASA. I my, can I hold my action to shoot him if he pulls a gun? I'll, play, I'll do Overwatch. Sure. I, w I would while he's talking i'd like to like walk up to the the folded out thing and just like look over the pastries okay um well that's something you do pretty easily as you're walking up is um a, a lot of them are uh mexican pastries so you you see um like square cakes and and um uh i I don't know the names of any of these pastries, so I sound well, like a to Helby. total loser. But um, I, I, would... essentially, you see like twenty to thirty different kinds of pastries that have vibrant colors, um, like tan, pink, and, and, and uh, uh, chocolate. Um, not necessarily chocolate flavor; it's just a chocolate color. Yeah, um, um, the general yeah, I mean... term for Mexican pastries is pan dulce. Pan dulce. Or, pan dulce, or sweet Hel bread. Helby ah, wouldn't know anyways. So. Spanish That's... with navy. I actually, I actually do, uh, I actually do uh, know Span Spanish <laughs> to a degree. Oh. Well, I know that, uh, I, I, I like that because it makes me feel less dumb. Yeah, so. But no, you can, or is it? Yeah, no, it's pan dulces. Uh, last I checked. Last I checked. <laughs> what? Uh, did the, did the Cajun long, society just change? It's been the a name? long time. It's been a long time, so I might have, oh, no. I might be misremembering it. Yeah, the the, the international Spanish. convention on Spanish changed all the words around. Yeah, well, also also it changes from country to country. That's true. No, uh, for example, I, in, Chile, it... in, in Chile, they don't say aguacate for avocado; they say palta. And um, like for, uh... some something that uh, a neighbor of mine once joked about is people say like like that I know Mexican and it's true 
because if if my dad was to go to like Chile or Brazil, like they'd know some words, but they'd struggle. Like like our dialect of Spanish is is very Californian, very us, and it's uh, very true uh, in Night City as well. Yeah. Serge is Chilean, so that means he's speaking very quickly in Spanish. Uh, yeah. Most coast, a lot of coastal parts will speak very quickly. Uh, you're like New Yorkers. It's... Yeah, but but Chile is actually very close to California, temp, uh, like atmosphere-wise. No, I get that. I, uh, um, it, it uh, 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 ongoing joke for California is we don't like Cal uh, New Yorkers because they talk very fast. Where we're like, dude, just chill out, bro. Yeah, but um, uh, on, but going on like uh, you you get his attention, you look at his face, and he he matches the description very like iron jawed, um, uh, cold eyes. He looks like ex military, but he's also like like looks looks uh, Hispanic. I just Do you go. Have a radio communicator. Sorry, I just go. I reach over and stay. You sold the cake. I just said, you sold the cake yesterday, right? I sold many cakes, that's it? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, go, I'm gonna, uh, tell Wei Chen, get the cake. What? Right. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, to... no, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm gonna, like, turn over to Wei Chen and say, get the cake. We, right, I'm going to go, call? go, go get the cake. Yeah. Yep. Like, I'm going to I'm I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm probably going to tell him. One of the, one of the Valentinos, one of the Valentinos bit the dust after he ate one of your cakes. One when of my you... cakes? No, 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 cake. no. That can't be. I'm going to say, they have a, I'm going to, I'm going to wait for the cake to come back. I'm gonna say I'm I'm here to get to the bottom of of what killed of what killed the what killed our friend here, our friend Jose. So you bring up the the cake that uh, you gathered from the crime site, and he recognizes. He goes, "Oh, that cake! I can tell you about that cake, my friend." Do tell. A man walked up, said, "Sell this to a guy," and he slipped me a he slipped me a thousand eddies. So, uh, can you give me give me any more on this? Yeah, I have all the proof I need, and he sends you a um a uh through his agent all of his cyber eye like recording from that night. Uh, I'm gonna use my eyes and just go. Yeah, checks out. Cause um, if you look through that recordings, you can see um, him working at his at at his uh, van, and he's he's muttering to himself. He's like, I've never worked this route before. And he looks up, and this guy hands him a cake, and he at and he hands him a a, a, a credit stick. And you can see him saying, like, I was never here. Sell this to Francisco. I just go. I'm, I'm just going to tell him. The cake was poison. We... So... Are you the cops? Are you bringing me in? No, I'm working. I'm working Are with Are you Padre. Valentinos? Oh no! I say I'm not. I'm not Valentinos myself. I'm hot. I'm paid by Padre though. So is this it? No. Since you gave us, since you gave us what you, what you did, I'm gonna say, 
I'm gonna let you off. I'm gonna let you more easy off the hook. You were told that you're just the middleman here. I just sell yeah. cakes, my friend. As I say, yeah, you were the middleman of this job. If, an if anything, just make it up to the Tino's one another way. It's all blow over. I'll I'll, I'll let Padre know. Since right. you gave me the, if you since you gave me everything I I need to know to find this. You said, got anything else on this guy? Um. He didn't say his name, but I. Like you could see in the footage, I kind of got a look at his face. So all, all I could see was uh was his scar, going down his chin. Yeah. I'm a. I'm gonna say uh. I have. I said I have an idea for how to make this up to Padre. I'm gonna let him know. How about you serve cakes at, serve cakes at at the. Uh, at Jose's funeral. Um. I, that might be a little too much. Yes. I. I think the best way for you to make it up to Padre is maybe you give us the thousand eddies and we. We'll we'll let him know that you, you're okay. But if he serves cakes at this dude's funeral, like yeah, someone true. level to shoot him. You are right there, but. Yeah. I'm saying that I'm just coming up with ideas here. So no, no, you're absolutely right. I just turned to him and just didn't have a go. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, no. Money. Yeah, I I, I do want to kind of like walk up to him with the Kenobo out and and say yeah like. You should just give us the thousand eddies and and we'll call it okay. Roll, roll, roll me a face down. Which is ten plus cool, cool, plus Rep. two. Oh, you're cool enough. Was th was that eleven year old? No, no, that, that, that's from net running. Okay. So I got, I got a thirteen. Oh no! Oh I go, no! I just turned to Helvy and just go. That you, you look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he looks over to you and he says, "It, am I being robbed?" I just go. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go. Wait, yes, I have are. to. I have to Is do what? Putting some Cause... kind of weird bat on me. I, I just turn over to Elvi and say, "You look like an." I just flat out turn to Elvi and say, "You look like a fool." No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, with a... the with failing the the thing, isn't there like two options? So, yeah, there are two options. You can either immediately back down, or you can take up minus two to further interactions. With this dude. Yeah, so you can either press this and take a penalty, or just drop it. I, I'm looking at Helvy like, what the hell are you doing? What, um, what I, role would it be if I wanted to push him again? Um, it, it depends. Like, do you want to threaten him with physical violence? Do you want to talk to him? Do you want to just attack? Like, there are options. It, 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 yeah. Until you beat these guys once, every time I met him, it's going to be minus two. So, yeah. But yeah, yeah that no, is I'm, the thing. I'm just flat out gonna it. say. Go, on, go ahead. I'm just gonna flat out say no, no, no. I don't like people saying no though. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just look at look at Helby like you're being in, you're making a fool of yourself. <laughs> I will. Can I try? Can I accept the negative and try persuasion? Yes. Okay, I will add four luck to that. <laughs> This is trying to say I'm gonna have to have to try to rob him. He wasn't going to die, but now maybe. I, I, I'm can actually I going to I'm actually going to protect the cake guy from Helvy if yeah, yeah, if, yeah. Uh, if it comes to it. Yeah, can I can I roll a human perception on 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 Thurge to see how he feels in this situation? First, it's like Overwatch I'm... if he pulls the gun. Now it's Overwatch if Helvy pulls a gun. Yeah, no, no, like, I, I, I'm rolling human perception to see how, like, see the state that, that like, how upset. Sure. Um, and also, and then... what what was Wei Chen's roll for? 
Oh my, I was gonna <laughs> help help her face down, but no, oh. that's fine. Um, I don't think you can for face downs. Yeah. Uh, I added all the correct modifiers and got a 21. Oh, wow. Alright, I rolled an 18. Do do I see Surge being uncomfortable and frustrated at these advances? I'm not I'm not doing a very good job of hiding it. Sur yeah, sir you can Surge is visibly agitated now that like there's a lot going on because Hel Helvi, what 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 is your goal of this persuasion attempt? I I want the thousand eddies. What what do you it's... say to that effect? What what g give me your pitch. Um Yeah, then she'll say you know, you, you can you could end up having a lot of problems with the Valentinos. You're not gonna be able to walk up to them and explain what you did. They're just gonna kill you. So if you give us the thousand eddies with the information you've given us, then we'll act as the intermediary and tell them you're okay. So you don't get killed because you're not gonna be able to explain this to them. They're not gonna listen to you. Look, look, I have bills to pay, okay? And he, he reaches into his, his pockets and he gives you uh, a, a chip with 500 eddies on it. Like, this is what's left. You're gonna have to just take it, okay? I'll take the 500 eddies. I, I, I'm just looking at Elvi like, what? Yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna say, yeah, no, just, well, I said, regardless of that, I was gonna let the Valentinos know you're, you're just, you're just the middleman. Oh, oh. They're more worried about who, who was, who's really behind this. It ain't you. Okay, and he 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 keeps tending to his cakes, and and starts making some sales once more. I right, just go. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna hit, like message the Valentinos and say, cake guy was just middleman. Middleman. He was, he was paid to just put the cake on the counter. I give, um, I yeah I give Serge the cred chip and say send this to Padre and tell him that he gave everything he had left from it. He doesn't want any problems with the Valentinos. All right, just go. Yeah, nope, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just send that over to Padre and say, and, and tell that, and tell that the cake guy was a metal man. He, uh, he gave, he gave us what was left of what he was paid to put the cake on the counter. I want to buy one of these pastries. Um, they are uh, five eddies each. I'll buy five of them. The uh, and does he have like Ziploc baggies? Um, he, I would say yes. He he has large. He has like large bags, like Ziploc bags that he puts them in, and like he he holds it until you give him the eddies, and then he gives it to you. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna have the Ziploc bag, and I'll just put them all in uh, in my. My little little bag for uh, for to bring back to for Ezekiel and Julia. You could use a garbage bag in your pods. I'm not no? gonna use a goddamn gar uh, a dumpster garbage bag for five. Pastries. Here's my corpse bag with five pastries in it. I'm just gonna go someone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go smooth. So how does Padre take that the the cake seller was the middleman? Yeah. And, um, I, well, well I'm you, over there. You have I'm the footage. Did you recognize anyone? I just go. Um, do I recognize the guy? Because I don't think I do. Well, yes, you do. Because there was another person that had a scar on their jaw. And that would have been Jose. Wait. <gasps> I know what's happening here. He I know offed what's himself? Happening here. No, no, no. Uh, uh, accidentally. He accidentally offed himself. I go. Wait, he would have known what the cake looked like. Yeah. He would have recognized the cake, right? I'm, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna say. Wait a second. I'm gonna use my my uh, my eyes to kind of compare the two images of Jose and the and the guy and the guy at the cell that gave the cake over. It's it's the same person, but the the package that he gave. Um, the the cake peddler was just a regular cardboard box. 
It was Jose who gave the cake. Jose didn't know what the cake looked like because he was an intermediary. So who in sent the Jose? He only, he, he only saw the outside of the box is what I'm guessing. We are never going to know who, who actually... Yeah, we're never going to know who, who killed Jose, yeah. I just go, it was... I'm going to flat out tell Padre. I'm, I'm looking at the two images right now of the footage and it was Jose who gave the, the cake seller the cake. Wait, so let's walk through your investigation. You're, you're saying that Jose gave the cake to the cake peddler. The cake told peddler him to sold sell, the, who sold and it told, and to Francisco. To Francisco, who gave it to Sandra, who gave it to Jose. Yes, with the box, but the cake peddler painted the box. So it looked different. Oh. Who did Jose try to kill? So, I think he's trying to kill oh, Francisco. Yeah, yeah, no. I, see, see I, I got this because I actually experienced this. My ex wife tried to kill me. Um... I, I'm going to fly out no. to her to search mines. No, with... Normally, we understand people murdering each other. It's it's people murdering themselves that we're working on here. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but he, he gave. He gave. You try to get it sold to, to to Francisco because he thinks that Sandra was cheating on him with Francisco, or maybe he was cheating on Francisco for San, with Sandra. You know, there was there was adultery happening there, and he accidentally did, killed himself in the plot to end it. Did anyone ever say anything about adultery before now? No, but it makes sense. It, I, I might just be projecting. I'm just gonna go. Uh, it, it says that the box was was changed, so I, I I'm still thinking this is. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm telling Padre. Yeah, no, like I'm gonna send the I'm gonna send him the two images of Jose and the guy who gave him the cake, who gave the cake to the cake seller. Well, that is all the evidence I need. Uh, the contract is closed, and uh, this is I've... this weird case. And uh, I, I will. Uh, dis I am dispersing uh, a, a thousand, uh, a thousand eddies to you, to you as a group. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it will cover your time. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna take the 500 eddies and just say, I'm, I'm just gonna put these back on the counter of, the counter of a. Uh, um... No, no, no! You can't do that. That's my personal reputation. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna say. I looked over the footage, talked to the talked to the Valentinos. You can. I'm you just can gonna, give it. You, know, you can no, give it to just anyone on the sidewalk. You can give it to any random person. Just you cannot give it back to him. <laughs> uh, no, no, this isn't. This isn't a bad rep oh, thing. This is more <laughs> time, time for PvP. On his honor. I, sorry, sorry. <laughs> This is going me. on Serge's honor, where it's like he has to give the money back. give it to me and I'll give it to him. I'm and just going to go... You can't get it. I'm just flying, gonna, gonna go to the cake seller and just tell him exactly what just happened. Yeah, I'm walking with Serge as protection. I'm just going to go and say, Okay, I looked over the footage and talked with Padre, and this is what happened to the cake seller. I go, so... Jose... The, the man who died of the cake uh -huh. gave you the cake. Yeah, you sold me the cake. He demanded I give it to Francisco. So Francisco, what he did is he gave it to to Sandra because he he thought he was doing something nice, uh -huh. and Sandra gave it to Jose. Uh, oh, this just went in a big circle, and Jose just killed himself. So Jose killed Jose. Yes. I just go see. Jose killed Jose. <laughs> huh. So I'm just gonna put the five hundred eddies back on the counter and say Jose paid you to kill himself. I think technically this makes you a contract killer though. <laughs> I just wanna say this was this was just I, I just I just throw my arms up saying going this, this was just some why would a man eat a cake after he was selling after he handed off a 
headed off a poison cake is something I just flat out say out loud. You you think you'd know better, but <laughs> you didn't. Welcome to the contract killing business, Mr. Cake Seller. I just flat out say you did. I I just throw my arms up in front of the cake seller and just say, "Yeah, no, there, there's no problem here." You, Oh, Jose just paid you to kill I himself, so... Question. Oh, okay. Uh, do you cater? Yes, sir? Do you cater? Um, I... Not really. Like, there are... If you give my boss some money, he can, he can like, set up, like, like a visit for the truck, but I I don't really cater, no. Can I, can I get his number? Uh, I mean, you're not arresting me for murder, so I, I suppose... We generally don't arrest people. No, yeah. We, uh, see, we, we aren't cops. We aren't the arrest type. We're the bullet in the skull type. Just like you, Mr. Contract Killer. Uh, <laughs> <in the head. laughs> As I laugh out loud at this at this whole thing and just like at this whole situation, just this is the dumbest. <laughs> this was the yeah. dumbest murder that ever happened. I just got flat out. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Ugh. When, when when you guys turn your head and trying to find where he's, trying, he's already like off in his he's limo, up. he's up. He's, he's done with this shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm just throwing my hands in my head and just going, I'm, I'm just done with this. This was just, I'm just gonna flat out say, Jose killed Jose. So this, this is case closed. Wait, case are, closed. Are, are, are we going to Jose's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna flat out to say. I'm just gonna put this, put the word down the line. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I said go I found with... the killer. I have proof. It was Jose. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with him on that just to watch. And you, um, I mean, you basically did so to to Padre, and um, you've you've logged your investigation. So yeah, that's that's all pretty accepted. Um, yeah. Though, though you do see replies from Sandra and Francisco on the the data will of just kind of confusion. Um, I, I I explained the 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 train, and saying Jose, Jose went to the cake seller to say. I I flat out say, I say, the guy next to me he said his wife tried something sim similar to get him killed. It was. Adultery or something. I I don't know. Maybe he thought that was happening. I, I just flat out say I don't know and I don't care This was I'll just flat out say this was the This was the, the <laughs> He bought the poison cake and, and ate it it is really what's going down <laughs> I just flat out say the man bought the poison cake and ate it May he rest in peace. And and it's at this point that I call the session, but um, I guess we're gonna call this I'm, session. Should, should, I'm gonna give you 40, 40 IP for that because th <laughs> this was this was a session full of role play and chutzpah. Uh, I'll, I'll go. Should we? Should we? The new name for this for this episode should be "The Cake Is a Lie." <laughs> so. So by the way, this this episode is um, is based on the plot of an episode of a of a TV show where basically the same thing happens, where a guy makes a cake with the intent to murder someone, but the cake inadvertently ends up being gifted to him. He eats it, dies, and then that's the investigation for the episode. What what show was that? I forgot what it was it was the one that was based on the, the 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 five points in New York. I forgot what it was called. I I can look this up. Um, but it was one of the episodes, and so they end up like going to several different people and like, no no no, I gave the cake to this guy, and then they start to rough up this guy. It's like, no no no, I gave the cake to that person, and then it just turns out that he give he inadvertently killed himself. Yeah, which no, makes I'll, I'll me just... question, and you have said it. Why would you eat a cake if you just gave someone a poison cake? 
I was thinking, like, you wouldn't want to eat cake for at least a week. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's, like, the worst of karma. That is, that is like... Not only that, it's, it's, it's more along the lines of just, like... The, the circle... There's just a circle here going that, that is just stupid. I have a question. Yes, sir. Ne next week, are we going to drag Corbinian along with us to Jose's funeral? Probably. <laughs> I guess we're going to attend Jose's funeral and say, yeah, Jose, yeah. Jose, the poor fool. Yeah, because we're going to go to Jose's funeral. We're going to get our night market stuff done and start the planning on <laughs> on the uh, on the the assassination next week. Okay, yes, this... Oh, Wei Chen's laptop battery died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, that, that, that's okay. We're, we're, we're basically at the end. I'm just gonna play... Yeah. No, we're wrapping up. Um... So... N you none of you me? have anything to report, do you? Uh, yep, 300 IP. Yeah, he can hear us. Oh! So you're... You would like to purchase Zenex Rank? Not yet. No, it doesn't make sense. No? It doesn't make sense. I will do it once uh, Once he and Helvy turn in the info on the... Ah, uh, to be the joys of, of being a nomad and just being able to walk up to your people and be like, can I have a helicopter now? <laughs> well, am I back? Yes, yes sir. Yes, you're yep. back. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, we're pretty weird. That, oh. The AC charger isn't working. Uh. How, uh, how many IP did you save for this? I believe 40. Okay. 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 This is. I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna. Um. I'm gonna tell my friends about this session. So this is. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This was a good. This was. That was a good. That was a good twist. Goofy, goofy fun little session. Um. I mean. And I'm. I'm gonna watch that TV show episode just. To... Um. I, yeah. I'll. I'll try and find out what that show was called. I just remember watching like sitting down and watching it because my my folks were watching it and i was like what's this show and it, it, it was uh quite interesting um but that, yeah. that was the plot of that episode was it turns out the 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 barber killed himself by giving him his his own cake yeah which which raises that one quite valid question yeah, quite valid question i asked Yeah, why would you do that? In any like, case, why would you eat that cake? We're going to raid a friend of the channel, um, TV MGC, which I, I forgot what it, what it is. It's it's called Midwest Gaming Classic, but I believe it's like some Milwaukee tabletop gaming store that they run a, a channel out of their basement. And he seems to be playing Soul Calibur, which is enough reason for me to want to raid him. So, um, we're going to raid into this guy. Uh... All right. He just out of range Sophita, so this is going to be great. But, um, as to things to report, um, tomorrow... On the Liching Hour, the Liching Hour, we're doing Blades in the Dark, and I'm super excited. Um, it's going to start with dialect, which I honestly don't um, know much about it. I just know it's a. I know that it is a card game in which you create a dialect for a dying culture. That's basically all I know. But we're going to start out with that, and then we're going to ease into Blades in the Dark and establish our criminal end of race. It's going to be very interesting. Um, on Tuesday, I'm going to try and do something with Will. We'll find out. Um, but in any case, we're going to raid TVMGC. Let's have some fun. Peace.